First group. Weirdest intro I've ever had. But let's race it. Mario Kart tournament here. Rainbow tournament, we're calling this one. A lot of rainbow track used. A couple long rainbow track straights. A hairpin here as the cars bounce down the hill and round the other big hairpin and we'll take it towards this uh, lime green section here where flags are tipped down. Now tipping down the flag is a little bit of difficulty. Oh, P just spins out for a second there and manages to finish second backwards. So uh, you, you're gonna lose some speed as you hit the flag trying to knock it over. That's, that's gonna take some effort and after that you get to dash down the hill. The problem is somehow two cars ended up in the... the goo? How did that happen? Oh, look at that. The flag opens up the lane. How nice. How fascinating. So that's going to be a big part of this. You're going to see a lot of zeros and a lot of threes and fives. Though I do remember one other time this feature was used. And a number of cars are in the same lane or the same double lane, whatever you want to call it, start to cross at the same time. Toad almost loses his wheel footing there and loses a lot of speed from it. Uh, look at the shell spike top coming first place here along with Peach. They're close. She, she might not fall in. They both fall in. Never mind. Sometimes if they cross near the same time, Piranha Plant will pick up five here, then they uh, are able to both not fall in, but the opposite happened there. Spike top couldn't even keep his footing and there's just a lot of goo down there. I mean, that's going to have an effect on the wheels. It's got to. I mean, between each race, I'm sure they're getting a goo clean and a scrub down. They fall in. Toad hitting his head on the way down. But that leaves Piranha Plant with a nice five. And look at how the point spread is. Five, three, five. Toad the only one with no points and nobody. I mean, I, getting an individual sweep on this one would be quite a challenge. Spike top on the near side. Right now, tied for the lead with Piranha Plant. Spike top now to the far side, holding a lead. Peach speeding up, now only down by a couple of lengths, back to even. Through this hairpin, Peach is gonna grab a lead. That will be bad for Plant, I believe, and she will make that opening appear. Toad falls, Plant falls, and Spike top is stuck on the side, and he will not finish either. Not finish at all. And that will leave Peach with five. Spike Top, who had a lead and a wonderful performance out there in his lane, is going to lose it all. And there's some goo. There's a blooper down there in the goo. And Spike Top just couldn't get his wheels on the track. I mean, <laughs> he's not a skateboard. Stop acting like one, right? Need four. Here we go. Four run out. Peach on the near side, then Spike Top and Toad, then Piranha Plant. On the far side they go. Spike Top trying to gain back the lead, has an inner line here on the turn compared to Peach, and that's going to help him out a little bit. He's up by a wheel length, loses it immediately. They're neck and neck, but somehow Peach falls first. Spike Top, and he's on the rail again, and he will not finish. Maybe he will. Toad gets five and pushes him across, barely. And Toad, I, I, I he might have sealed his fate here because pushing Spike Top across, I mean, I think there's two better than Toad. No chance for tiebreaker. Five and three, five and three for Peach and Spike Top, and they will advance. I mean, Toad really hurt his chances with that collision. But you know you. Sometimes even in your victory, there's only sounds of defeat. I mean, a good move by Toad there, but Spike Top was really blocking the whole lane. It would have been very hard to get around him and make something of that without causing Spike Top to finish. Second group, Heat 1. Shy Guy, Peach, Baby Mario, and Cat Mario. Cat Mario perched unnaturally on the top of his cart feet right on the chair baby mario in that b dasher really fast out of the gate lightweight character 
Heavy B dash or car, always a great mix. Peach also holding her own very well. It seems like Shy Guy is the only one who's not fast right now. B dasher through the lane, does it well, takes it fine, and spins, almost loses out. I don't know if any other car got even close. Is there any other car? No. I mean, we're looking at a historic amount of DNFs here. Shy Guy kind of perches himself up there on the on his lane and Cat Mario and Peach just both took a dive. I guess there's the chance that both flags are triggered at the same time. I guess that's what happened. Both of them triggered each other's flag at the same time. And somehow Shy Guy triggered... Oh, somehow Toad didn't trigger his flag. Uh, not Toad. Baby Mario didn't trigger his flag as he ran over. I, I'm trying to understand that. Some of the mechanics here sometimes really bug out. But Baby Mario, maybe in his light weight, couldn't, couldn't trigger anything. Here we go, Heat 2. Cap Mario on the near side. He's in a Wario standard card, by the way. Did you notice that? A Wario standard card. I don't know wh what the choice there is, but... I mean, Mario has a million of his own. I don't know why he think to borrow Wario's and then sit on it the way he is. Cat Mario stuck up there almost at the top. He finds his footing and Baby Mario falls and Peach is stuck. Any car gonna finish this one? Ha! It's the slowest of them all. Cat Mario and he's on the rail and he, he barely finish. Barely finish. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm thinking about this COPPA Act thing, of course, now that I just mentioned it. And I'm wondering, I mean, for anyone listening, some ideas I had, I mean, if I put a camera of, of myself doing the commentary, well, obviously I'm not a kid. I mean, is that going to make a difference? I, I don't know. That one seems like a silly idea. It, does a couple curse words really make a difference? Does, like, and if we put some, like, photos in there that are, like, not too graphic to get canceled on YouTube, but graphic enough to be not made for kids, you know, or some figurines or whatever. Is, is that gonna, is that gonna do it? We really want y'all's opinion on this. Some of you guys might know some secrets we don't. We've been trying to do research, but really, I guess Google's been, or YouTube's been doing a good job keeping some of the more, uh, <laughs> deep web tricks out of, uh, the main search line or whatever. Baby Mario on the far side, through the flag area, and he spins it, he's stuck again! And Peach in the B-Dasher! That's going to be a free win. I mean, Baby Mario did everything right and lodged himself right at the exit. I mean, what am I to make of that? Baby Mario? Stuck, Shy Guy, and Mario, I and mean, Cat Mario, plunge into the goo. I know it's supposed to be representative of water, but it's really fun to say goo. 5-5-5. Five, five, five. I mean, there's going to be some tiebreakers in order here. I mean, there's got to be, right? Unless two cars manage to finish here. Here we go. Baby Mario on the near side, Peach right next to Cat Mario and Shy Guy lagging behind, but they're going to fight it out on their side of the lane. Peach with a lead. Baby Mario needs to catch up here if he wants to grab some points. Peach is going to trigger the big hole, get out of it, and spin through the rail and finish backwards. Cat Mo Whoa, look at the speed of that. Cat Mario darted right through the finish line. Two finishers, both of them with five. So Cat Mario against, well, I think most odds is going to advance here. And some goo time for Baby Mario and Shy Guy. And well, that's, uh... It's been quite a challenge on this course. It's not your fastest car. I mean, I can tell you that right now. I mean, there are cars... Baby Mario is cl clearly faster than Cat Mario, but it's just not for him today. 10 and 8, so that they will advance. It's it's about getting out there and triggering that uh, that flagpole. We have another set of them here: B Dasher, Peach, Spike Top, Cat Mario, Peach, Pee Wing. And remember, these are the the four that advanced here. 
from the last two heats. We know how it goes. Peach in the P wing, far side, spike top, near side, going to beat out the B dasher. No, he's left away. Somehow the B dasher is not, even though spike top should have, shrink, uh, should have triggered that. B dasher Peach will finish. I don't see anything from any of the other cars. Are they just stuck up there? Well, they both goo. They both goo. Three, two, one, goo. And what can you do about that? Not much. Except for, uh... Oh, wait there until you're drug out. Hmm. <laughs> Funny to watch them bounce in the goo. B dash for Spike Top, Cat Mario, P Wing, Peach once again, and we'll change up lanes here to get it going. Again, Cat Mario in that Wario decal standard card, an odd choice, but has a pretty good lead on Spike Top right now, who's starting to gain back speed. Do not sleep on Spike Top, quite an experienced racer. I wouldn't mind seeing him get all the way to the finals here. He's quite an impressive racer. He looks like he's gonna beat out Cat Mario. He triggers it, spins out, gets down, only gonna pick up three points as Peach in the beat Asher. But it's not over yet for Spike Top. It's 10 to three. Here we go. Looking at the replay here, Spike Top pulling up just behind. This is a big moment for, well, the little Bowser enemy. Usually you see Peaches and Mario's get to the finals, but to see a enemy, just your average Bowser enemy like Spike Top, get all the way to the finals, be a big day in Mario Kart races and fun history. Spike Top on the near side, battling out with Peach and the B-Dasher. If he wins this, he can make some ground up Looks like he's got the lead and the chance triggers the hole, bounces out. He might be working with three points again. No, he pushes past Peach in the P-Wing. And that's going to be a opportunity door opened for Spike Top to take this one. Mario is stuck up there. B-Dasher Peach is sent right into the goo. And Peach in the P-Wing also grabs three points and puts her on the board, though I think she's really not numerically able to make up ground at this point. She's down uh, about seven on our leader. Spike Top. Look at him. This race is important. On the near side. Who is he versing head-to-head? -head? Cat Mario. B-Dasher, Big Lee. P-Wing falling behind, Spike Top with a chance if he can pick up five here, he pushes it to a tiebreaker even if the B-Dasher finishes, has to be fast here, the near side, Spike Top triggers the hole, races down faster than the B-Dasher and a tiebreaker will be in order with the cutoff. What a wonderful finish, did you see the way he dodged to the near side at the end, a wonderful cut off. That is impressive. For sure very impressive. And now we're looking at a tiebreaker. Spike Top and Peach and the B-Dasher. This is as exciting as it gets usually in a group one stage. Or like a group one video, whatever you want to call it. So this should be good. They're in separate lanes, so it's only about speed here. They're not gonna be able to drop each other into the goo. Spike top faster on the near side here because he had to working with that inside line. Peach outer lines to work with. What's gonna happen here on the next hairpin? Looks like Peach gains back the lead. Spike top is fast through the transition and Spike top fast. Is he fast enough? No, he's stuck on the rail and Peach in the B dasher and Spike top will come up as short as he does in this last race a few lengths of the finish line a few lengths of the finals and that's gonna do it right there winner peach and the beat asher she'll move on but i have to commend spike top very impressed big fan of him i hope to see him again in future mario kart tournaments i really think there's some potential to be had there as we mark off the first of many question mark blocks peach in the beat fan and want to interact with races and fun and me and everybody and all the other fans join talk about cars 
hopefully we'll be able to start a lot of fun events in there. If you are a moderator, admin of Discord servers, and you know how to set one up, or you know a lot about making Discord servers super engaging, um, we just have a basic setup. You can come and you can be a part of helping races and fun really shine in that regard. Announcement two. We are going to be doing, a uh, in 2023, a mail-in uh, car tournament. We don't have a ton of details on it, but it's coming, so get excited for that. We're really excited to get your guys' vehicles involved in our racing. Number three, we are super thankful for all the support you guys gave um, last time when we announced about the current COPPA stuff. We're making a few small changes. We'll make a bunch over probably the next few weeks as we make a few adjustments to keep this channel going. We won a bunch of appeals, and we're so thankful for you guys making those comments on your age and your dedication to the channel and how much you enjoy it and whatnot. Keep doing that um, if you can. Keep making some comments. And uh, a lot of your comments really went into helping us make good decisions on some of the stuff we're going to do with our videos. So again, we really, really appreciate that. All that being said, let's get into this video. Look, we got the scoreboard thing up right now. Great. Um, <laughs> another interesting intro but here we go rosalina thwomp kamek luigi don't forget to join the discord by the way did i mention that join the discord um kamek is nowhere to be seen as we roll into this first set of four you know in the rainbow tournament as we called it last time we have those lime green section where you can drop into the goo everything the same as group one video as we head to group two and well Eight to come as we find our eight finalists. Kamek, well, very expectedly dropped into the goo. And uh, you can see in this case... Oh, yeah, th there we go. Rosalina also dropped into the goo. I didn't see her for a second on the camera angle. I was wondering how she got through, but she indeed did not. Um, and then she'll be stuck in there as well. And that will be five and three, Thwomp and Luigi. Another kind of secondary Bowser enemy taking to the B dasher so this should be an interesting one remember spike top from the last one did quite well and almost won and I was really excited because he almost pulled it out but um, he came up just short in the tie breaker at the end of the last video unfortunate but uh, certainly some potential there looks like Thwomp will be uh, forced to be reckoned with today as well and not just a vertical one at that you know what I'm saying? Oh, Thwomp, never mind, is stuck right there. Couldn't even get into the lime green section. Kamek with a chance to actually pick up some points and finish, and you can see speed is not the only key thing. I don't know what's going on, because Kamek got stuck mid-track. Three cars unfinished, one in the goo, and Luigi's just going to pick up points there. Join the Discord, by the way. Did we do that? Did I say that? Okay. <laughs> Luigi with eight. <laughs> Thwomp with five. I gotta be honest, it really every time the Mushroom Kingdom gets out here, I am blown away every time by how exciting they can make a race. I, it just never goes how you expect it to go. Thwomp on the near side, Luigi just ahead. Rosalina and Kamek far behind. My hopes are pretty small as far as their potential going forward. Thwomp taking the lead. Luigi just behind. They're in different tracks. They both can cross over here. Thwomp is slow out. Luigi also slow in that pipe frame. He has some room. Not enough room. Thwomp's going to pick up five. Good thing too. And Luigi's only up three on him. Looks like both will advance anyway. Um... I mean, yeah, I mean, there's no chance for Rosalina or Kamek. Hate to say it. Hate to bust your bubble if you're really into those two characters, but, uh, I mean, there is no mathematical way they can take back this win. Kamek's gonna drop right there into the goo about seven hours later. And, uh... Well, thir 13 to 10 to 0. Uh, 0. Let's go. Thwomp on the near side. Luigi there in lane three. They're still fighting for posterity as far as first place. The winner of this race will probably get it. I don't know if they'll even run the tiebreaker if Luigi and, and Thwomp tie here because they're both advancing. Rosalina is back in the game, though. She might cause some commotion, at least for the two. Thwomp struggling to get out. Luigi in the goo, and Thwomp will end points win this one. No, oh, he almost <laughs> two wheels and barely gets across. 
Showboating a little worked out three cars in the goo, all staring at each other, wondering how the hell that happened. Since the, the track is really built for only two cars to goo, but uh, when they're next to each other, anything can go on. A lot of movement, a lot of action. If you, uh, if you might be okay with another announcement, uh, I do have a new microphone here, so you can drop your opinions on how this one's sounding. I was able to pick up that, uh, here's Heat 1 of the next group, Baby Luigi, Yoshi, Bowser, and Shy Guy. Bowser sporting a nice pink bad wagon. Wonderful to see, but it'll be quite slow in that, I'm assuming. I think Yoshi's there in a Wario standard card, I think. Might be. Maybe that's an egg on that, I'm not sure. Anyway, I was able to pick up the Shure SM7B microphone. I'm really excited about it. So for any uh, audio enthusiasts, I would love to hear some of your comments and maybe some tips and tricks on good editing for filters to put on this and whatnot, because I know every mic is a little different as far as uh, how the audio editing and whatnot should uh, should roll out. Yeah, Yoshi will be in a Yoshi standard card. Bowser and the goo. I mean, Baby Luigi's just not even to get through the situation. He's not even triggering the track. He's just stuck up there. I, I don't know what's going on. Cars are just getting uh, blocked by air. I they're, they're, There's nothing in the way there. I don't know how they're not finishing across the green sector. No matter. Uh, looks like Shy Guy will start with five. But this microphone is just so nice. I'm just really excited about it. Um, and I hope you all had a Merry Christmas as well on that note. Uh, it's been a wonderful season. And we're excited for 2023, and we hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. We'd love to hear about what some of you guys did for your holiday that uh, made it special. You can comment that below as well. There we go. Baby Luigi in the goo. Another goo car. Shy Guy's just going to sit right there on the hill in a ridiculous fashion. Look, he's, he's hanging right off of it, and Bowser in the bag wa bad wagon. Oof. We'll pick up five and tie it up. And knocks down a plant in the goo. Yeah, look at him. And, uh, man, it is just commotion all over the track today. And, yeah, well, five and five. Heat three, here we go. As we refocus here, Bowser on the near side. Shy Guy right next to him. This will be a good battle, points-wise. Baby Luigi and Yoshi to come out here if they want to pick up some points. Looks like Baby Luigi is in the game. If he can actually get past the green section, he's got a shot. On the far side there, looks like he's going to play with Yoshi. Can he get across the green section? He can. He will pick up points if he finishes. Shy Guy with five. Will Baby Luigi finish? Yes, he will. And he will pick up three. Now, Bowser's in some trouble. It will be a battle between them. Tiebreakers possible. And Shy Guy with 10, uh, 10 points now. Two cars in the goo. And I think Shy Guy's a lock. Yeah, Shy Guy's a lock to advance. There's no way both Bowser and uh, Baby Luigi can tie or best Shy Guy at this point with 10 points. So Shy Guy's a lock, so let's look at Bowser and Baby Luigi. Yoshi is not technically out there. If he were to win this one, um, and the other cars were to not finish. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, There's always so many possibilities here. Yoshi still could get five. And, or three, and look at a tiebreaker. Um, sorry, five, just five. Look at a tiebreaker for second. We'll see how it shakes out. Looks like that won't happen. You know, she's way behind here. Baby Luigi, both in the goo. Bowser, bad wagon. Shy Guy won't finish. Bowser will finish. And he will tie Shy Guy at 10. I don't know if they'll tie break here since they'll both advance. We'll see. Yoshi will hit the ground in the goo, the rest of them as well, and Bowser will showboat his way across, finishing backwards, and they'll both advance. No need for a tiebreaker. Finals. I mean, this is... This should be a good one. Thwomp, fast. Shy Guy, fast. Bowser, a very intelligent racer. Luigi, not so bad as well. Pipe frame. Swamp looks to be just behind Luigi, but gaining. Shy Guy burns past him in the second straight, and the next hairpin into this last sector. Looks like Shy Guy has a huge lead speed-wise. Swamp is going to get across, drop Luigi in the goo, and pick up three points. Bowser in that bad wagon, and he'll goo as well. Three, two, one, goo. Think of that out of my head. 
man, they took some rough falls there too. Slicing and dicing their way through those flora and fauna surrounding the goo. A lot of things will get growing down there. Heat two. Shy guy in the near side with Luigi. Thwomp hit some bump there, lost a lot of speed right out the gate. Bowser moving quickly as well, but losing the lead. Thwomp needs to stay strong. He's bouncing with his wheels. He's losing a lot of control here in that second trade. Even Bowser's overtaking him. Shy Guy looks to be a little bit slow coming out of the next hairpin. Here comes Thwomp. Can he best out Bowser? No, they both fall into the goo and Shy Guy breaks away. The winner of the whole deal. Luigi is still there as well. Sometimes, uh, somehow he got through the whole thing. It looks like no one tripped any of the, the, the little clips there or whatever it is that caused the tracks to fall. And Luigi was just stopped up there a second and he rides the rail and finishes backwards. And now it's 10 for Shy Guy. But Luigi and Bowser still technically have a chance. I mean, I, I guess... Uh, I guess because of all the very common DNFs, uh, Thwomp still has a chance as well, but I thought he would have been a little bit um, more in it. Look at Thwomp though, maybe a comeback story in the making. Thwomp looking fast in this one, bouncing through these bumps as we head towards that next hairpin. Shy Guy holding a nice lead, and it's going to be a battle between the two of them. Can he stop up Shy Guy? Thwomp breaks through and is not faster than Shy Guy. He's backwards, nose hit. And Shy Guy with another five, and that might seal the deal. I'm not, I don't think mathematically it's even close. Bowser's just gonna flay one of his wheels off the track, and Luigi will fall right in. Milky stops right there. Maybe just too scared to hit the holes. All right, five, five, five for Shy Guy. Individual sweep in the finals only in the making here. And actually, it's very rare to see that in this particular tournament, considering that uh, most cars don't even finish at least once. So, I mean, four fives would be impressive. Oh my god, Thwomp is just out of it there. And eight fives just seems absolutely unheard of, so at least a final sweep is in order here. Shy Guy looking for that right now. Five points more to grab here if he can get across. The green section he does, rolling down, spinning out, backwards, and finished. Any other cars? Bad wagon. So six points for Bowser, but 20 for Shy Guy. Individual final sweep, four in a row. Still impressive for this tournament. The other two will do. And now we'll do it for this one. Shy Guy very clearly going to be in the finals. So I don't know, I'm not sure if he's necessarily more uh, skilled of a racer than who else we have in there. Uh, if I remember correctly, it wasn't Spike Top, I believe it was, uh, we're gonna see right here, so I don't have to guess at it. Peach and the B-Dasher, I was gonna say Rosalina and the B-Dasher, I was gonna, it would've been wrong. Otherwise, that's 128 stock cars mailed in by you guys to race in an epic battle. For this mail-in tournament, the cars will be stock cars, so no changes can be made to the car except for the addition of lube or graphite. All details regarding deadline and shipping process can be found on the Races and Fun Facebook page. Please direct all questions about this tournament to there as well. The winning car will be kept by us for the memory. However, the winner of this 128 car battle will receive all 127 other vehicles as a prize. Again, message us on Facebook and see our posts there to keep up on important notices regarding this tournament. In the meantime, we have a tournament of the Mushroom Kingdom variety on our hands today. Toad, Yoshi Egg, Nabbit, and Baby Bowser are the next four here as we head into group three or video three of this uh well eight group ordeal in the rainbow tournament bowser jr looks to be pretty good well they call him baby bowser in this one or easily misconstrued and he seems to be the only one no yoshi egg in there as well and we'll have two finishers and two goo It looked like Yoshi Egg and Baby Bowser were substantially faster out of the gate anyway, so it's no surprise that uh, they're going to be leading the charge on this one. Clean finish for both, except for that Yoshi Egg down the transition piece who did about a 720 as he uh, rolled towards the finish. 
Hey, I wonder what happens if the Yoshi egg ever flips over. I wonder if he just uh, <laughs> rolls as effectively on the other side as well, considering it's basically a sphere that we can assume it to be in the, in the seat of that cart anyway. Baby Bowser on the far side, Toad a little bit ahead, Yoshi Egg near, fighting with Nabbit as they head to that far uh, green section. Here comes the Yoshi Egg, trips the wire, Baby Bowser into the goo, you Toad free! He has a chance for points, but only three to his name. Yoshi Egg will pick up five and go up eight. Goo for Baby Bowser and Nabbit. And I saw a comment last video that was very confused at the whole goo thing. I mean, look at the, look at what's in the bottom of the tank. I mean, you see it jiggle there as cars bounce to the bottom. I know it's supposed to represent water. And people may have assumed that, but it's, it's definitely goo. I, I guess... Um, well, I figure we don't want to get these cars wet. Maybe they're not as durable as the, uh, the usual Camaros and Lamborghinis we race down, but... Um, Goo serves the same purpose. And it's fun to say, a little bit of goo out there on the track. Yoshi Egg on the far side, trips the wire, sends Toad away. Baby Bowser, oh, a skid from Yoshi Egg. He'll be fine, Baby Bowser, with some speed. And any other skidding from Yoshi Egg could have caused problems. Baby Bowser, not giving up on the fight, takes another three points there. But Toad is still in a position to take back some of this lead. The advancement spot is still open for him. We have 8 versus the Yoshi Egg with 13 and Toad with 5. If he can pick up 5 here and send Baby Bowser down to goo, then there's a chance. Toad in the lane with Baby Bowser. This should be a good one. Near side for both of them. Yoshi Egg Big lead, Toad almost, Toad almost bounces out of the track, but stays front. He's only down a few lengths. Baby Bowser catching up here. It's going to be closer to the goo. Will Toad be able to get out free? He will not, and no chance for him to take it back. He may have won that if he had gotten out free, but Baby Bowser caught up just enough. Very intelligent move, knowing he didn't need to win, but just needed to drop Toad into the goo section. That he does. Nabbit not even a part of the race, really. Um... And we'll head to the next one with Baby Bowser and Yoshi Egg advancing. Though I will say Yoshi Egg seems a lot more capable come finals than Baby Bowser. With three fives in this one so far. Heat one of the next four. King Boo, Mario, Yoshi, and Peach. Yeah, black colored Yoshi this time. That's all I'll say on that. Toad, um, sorry, not Toad. Mario in the sneaker. And I say Toad because normally Toad is a rock in the sneaker. Mario this time, not really the car I'd choose, which I say about every time as well. But uh, he's pulling pretty well. Good speed from him right here. And he's going to drop King Boo in the goo. Yoshi holding on as well. And a five and a three coming across here. It is uh, very rare that we're going to get any more values besides a five and a three. There's some goo. Um, just because to get three cars across is just so rare to see. But uh, every once in a while, you might see it. I would love the wonderful impossibility of somehow getting all four cro uh, cars across the, uh, the green section and not see any goose eggs up there in the scoreboard, but uh, that seems more unlikely than a full sweep. Beach on the near side. King Boo with her. Mario and Black Yoshi in the distance. Here comes Black Yoshi on the near side. Mario way behind in that sneaker. Yoshi bouncing up through the uh, the small hills there, the rolling hills. And not even hills, you can call them. Just kind of uh, impediments in the ground. Mario's going to fall in. Who's going to come out the other side? I think Peach might have had that. Who will get it? Yeah, Peach backwards in the standard cart. And uh, she'll pick up three points there. And while definitely not the fastest cart, she certainly, certainly had a lucky uh, alignment there. I don't know what King Boo's doing, falling asleep out there right before the hole. Maybe a rest is needed. Maybe bring some speed next time. He skids, and he just gets tangled up in the clip. And he'll be on the ground. Peach will sidle on through as well. Here we go. Third round. 
Looks like a commanding lead from Yoshi, but Mario's still in it. Peach as well. Peach. Ooh, wow. Yoshi off to a terrible start. Nicked something in the ground and lost all the speed. So many lengths back. Peach, big chance for her to put more points up on the board. Her battles with Yoshi. Mario coming up on her as well. She's going to take the overall lead, but only has to battle with King Boo here. Peach across the green section. Yoshi not dropped into goo. Nose to nose with Peach. And he's, uh, wow, grinding on the side. Turns around, still ends a wheel length ahead. And all that commotion, and we do get a 5-3-2, as I was just talking about it. How wonderful. She did not trip the hole. That's a mistake Peach needed to uh, take Yoshi out of the game here, but maybe actually did herself a favor unknowingly by letting Yoshi be between Mario and herself, meaning Mario gets uh, one less point and makes it maybe a little easier for Peach to come out on top. Peach with three and five, Mario with only five and two. Seven and eight. Yoshi looks like he will definitely qualify currently with 11, but it'll be a battle between Peach and Mario. Eyes on Mario, who needs to be beat out Black Yoshi if he's going to get down to the finish line. Peach only need to beat out King Boo. So just with the uh, arrangement of racers, looks like Peach has a much easier chance. Mario in the goo, King Boo as well, Yoshi with points, and Peach with a few more as she uh, crosses with only two wheels, even in the, uh, the bounds area. And Mario will kind of rest near goo there by that blooper. What a tough fall there for King Boo, who knocks over a couple of the the uh, mild-mannered plants in the in the tank. <coughs> Excuse me. Could use a water bottle up here. Mushroom Kingdom, not super <coughs> generous with those things in the commentator's booth. No token Mario water bottle. Into the finals. Here we go. Yoshi at far side with Black Yoshi. Well, who came first, the uh, egg or the Yoshi? That's a question, well, we may never have the answer to. But in the racing scene, looks like the Yoshi egg is by far first. And, whoa, speed up there to the end. Yoshi egg's going to grab it. Baby Bowser just behind. Almost took back the five points. And we can confirm that the Yoshi does indeed follow the egg. Barely holds himself on as he drops into the goo, Peach, and head first dive as well. Oh, wow. Is that a Baby Bowser win? I did not see it being that close. It is a Baby Bowser win. I completely missed that. I uh, thought Yoshi egg got across, but the spin at the end means his car, uh, the totality of his car did not get across first before Baby Bowser did. That's a finish. For sure. I was too caught up in my uh, theological or psychological Yoshi and Egg question. And they are not battling this time. Yoshi gonna drop. No, no one's dropped into the goo. Two cars just failed right at the transition. Even with solid ground, Yoshi Egg will follow Yoshi. The psychology switches this time. And, I mean, chances for everyone to score points, but no, they just parked themselves at the top. <laughs> Look at Baby Bowser. I mean, what even happened there? I I'm just, uh, I mean, Peach was right there at the edge as well, and just slides back into the in the middle. I don't, I don't know what any of the thought processes were, but they were really bad. I mean, Yoshi gets across and, uh, with the egg. I wonder if a yellow dotted Yoshi egg means a yellow Yoshi. I don't know if, if that corresponds or if they kind of... I don't, I don't know at all about about that. Okay. <laughs> Yoshi Egg on the far side. Yoshi, a terrible start out of the gate. He's going to drop a lot of speed. Baby Bowser and Peach there now on the far side as we take that first turn. Looks like Peach is losing speed. Baby Bowser trying to climb his way back into it here. He has a chance still. Peach looks like she's far out of it here, especially currently in her standings. Yoshi Egg dropping black Yoshi and Baby Bowser fighting for the finish. He's backwards, loses speed, but he manages three points. And after the lucky finish he had in the first one, three points, not that bad. He's still in a place to maybe take a win here. Though I'm not sure about that now that I just say that. We'll have to look at points here. I think it's possible with certain scenarios. 
Baby Bowser just going to come across backwards. So there, Baby Bowser with eight points. Yoshi Egg there with 11. If Baby Bowser finishes with three and Yoshi Egg with zero, it's going to be a tiebreaker situation. If Baby Bowser manages to finish with five and Yoshi Egg with, uh, well, again, two or less tiebreaker or a win for Baby Bowser. Baby Bowser right now in the far back regions of the race. He manages to patch Peach with some speed here down the second turn. Maybe loses it in the hairpin. Battling with Yoshi Egg, but will drop into the goo. Yoshi Egg out in front of Yoshi. And once again, the egg before the Yoshi. That will seal this one. Peach will cross in short order as well. Three cars crossing, and the only one who didn't is the one who really needed to. Baby Bowser will drop that one. Literally. In the water. In the goo. Wasn't consistent there. No luck. Peach, two points as well, but uh, far from enough. Those are only two points of the round. Yoshi Egg will be heading to the finals, third of the Mushroom Kingdom, to race in that finals of this one against two B Dasher vehicles. That'll be a tough one. Do not forget to subscribe. Spots are filling quickly for the 2023 Stock Car Mail-In Tournament. And I'll tell you truly, there are not many spots left. Hello, everybody. I'm Brendan. And do not forget to go to the Races and Fun Facebook page for the information on how to mail in your very own stock car and all the things regarding that to be a part of the races on this channel. Remember, the winner of that tournament, and we'll get our first four going here, will receive all 127 other losing cars. What a prize for a Hot Wheels or a racing enthusiast. And uh, we have our first four going there. Looks like Toadette got caught up on the turn. And they'll flip the flags, and they'll both fall into the goo. Mario will finish Rosalina following suit. And we have our first two to pick up some points. I will tell you as well, the Discord community is growing as well for the Races and Fun channel. I would definitely recommend joining if you haven't already. Still looking for more mods and administrators to help uh, grow the Discord and make it um, a more expansive place for Races and Fun fans. Link is in the description on that and for the Facebook page. Highly recommend that you take a look at both. Heat 2 here. Dry Bones, Mario, Rosalina, and Toadette as we continue into Group 4 of the Rainbow Tournament. Toadette on the far side there in some odd-looking car. Looks like a bow tie on the front. Can't be very, very aerodynamically suited. Rosalina, far side. Mario right next to her. He's going to drop into goo. Rosalina just gets away as he flips the track under. And Rosalina is going to find her way to the finish. And that will be all. Mario almost sped up enough to drop Rosalina in the goo on her way out. Look at that. Rosalina just got out as uh, her flag flipped up, but uh, she got away. Dry Bones uh, stopped, unfortunately, right on his track after hitting that notch and is dropped in along with Toadette. So, looking like a good tournament so far for Mario and Rosalina. Looks like they're going to be on the way to advance me. But we have two more races to go. Maybe Toadette can fight her way back in. Maybe even Dry Bones can do so. Looks like Toadette fast out of the gate here through the first hairpin. Loses all speed down the bumpers. And Rosalina holding a lead. Mario as well. They're on different uh, uh, tracks here as they head to the green section. Rosalina, she'll pass through. Toadette down. Dry Bones as well. Mario first place. And points have shifted back towards Mario's favor. Just a little bit, though. He's still down a few. It's really it's, it's four lanes here, but we'll call it two tracks because you see two on each side. They split, so it kind of becomes a 1v1 between the two far side vehicles and the two near side ones because they trigger each other's uh, fall into the goo, each other's track uh, feature 
um, that lets the hole create in the track. So it becomes a sort of a 1v1, which I think is interesting. So in those two tracks, there are little mini battles. Marty on the near side, Rosalina as well. They will battle. Dry Bones, Toadette. I don't think they have any chance. Zeros on the board for both of them. Look at Mario Rosalina. How will they do battling out? Who will have the most speed on the near side? They will come around the hairpin. Dry Bones with some speed here. Rosalina way out in front of Mario. Comes through the track transition section. Drops Mario into the goo. Speeds to the finish. Dry Bones with some speed. Knocks into Rosalina, but can't get around. Toadette, I think left up there as well. And they're both in the goo. Rosalina, Dry Bones, they escape the tank and the goo. Let's move on. Advancing. Again, Rosalina, Mario, as expected. Both of them, I think, with some potential to win in the finals. It will just depend on what speed they bring and how the matchups turn out. Yoshi, pl uh, Piranha Plant, I guess we'll go with Plant. Um, Peach and Koopa Troopa. Uh, Koopa, uh, yeah, Koopa Troopa. I think in a Mach 8. I mean, remember, Luigi in the Mach 8 is always quite a character. We'll see how Koopa Troopa fares today. Plant, <laughs> man, I'm saying it now. Piranha Plant, fast out of the gate, looking slow. Koopa Troopa going up against Peach here in the 1v1 fire track. Here they go. Drops Peach into the goo, and Koopa Troopa can't get out. He's flipped up and over. He will not finish. Yoshi and Piranha Plant somehow both getting to the finish line. Piranha Plant spinning around at the end. Koopa Troopa, though, able to escape the goo, but not escape... The, the green track piece as it flipped up. Look at him. Flipped up into the air because there's a portion of it that flips up the other way on that, uh, around the fulcrum of the flag. And he can't escape that nonsense. And he will be left out to dry on the track. And literally, too. No goo, no water, no wet. Koopa Troop on the near side with the Yoshi. Piranha Plant, far side with Peach. Here we go. Koopa Troopa fast through that inside line. He's got a big lead. Pink Yoshi will need to really accelerate back into this if she's going to have it. Even a chance. And Pink Yoshi will. Taking a big lead down the near side. Koopa Troopa through the section. He's dropped in the goo. Yoshi escapes. Peach, she will not. She teetered on the edge. Yoshi may not even finish here. And she will. Barely. Peach left up there at the top. Kind of shoved into the side. Her uh, her fake floor was not uh, removed, was not dropped. And uh, she'll just kind of sit up there. But I guess dropping her, comp uh, her competitor into the goo helps her out a little bit as far as evening out those points. Yoshi, crossing. Very good for Pink Yoshi with now two fives on the board. Heat three. Let's keep him moving. The near side, Peach, along with Koopa Troopa. Yoshi fire with Piranha Plant. Looks like Peach, bad out of the gate. Uh, struggle to find footing through the bumps. Looks like slowing down even more. Where's the acceleration? Looks like Koopa Troopa slowing down a little bit, though. Gives Peach some room to get back in. No, she's got a far turn to do on that hairpin. So no chance. Koopa Troopa drops both into the goo on the far side, and Koopa Troopa will be clear to take points by himself. Five points for Koopa Troopa. Back on top of Piranha Plant, giving him the chance to go ahead to the finals. If he can manage to beat out Piranha Plant on this next one. I will say Peach still in it, believe it or not, even though she has all three zeros. All she needs is a five and letting Koopa Troopa and Piranha Plant somehow fall in. Let's see who she's going up against. This could be big for Peach. Peach on the near side. Piranha Plant. If she beats out Piranha Plant and Yoshi beats out Koopa Troopa, Peach could be sent into a tiebreaker here. Peach, though, slow through the second straight here. Not looking good against Piranha Plant, who's going to head to that far hairpin and take that outside line. Koopa Troopa slowing down as well. Pink Yoshi needs to speed up. If she's going to put him away, not going to happen. Dropped into goo. Oh, looks like she is. Peach, though, gets out in front. Drops Piranha Plant. Finishes backwards, but Koopa Troopa is going to steal it away. Into the goo they go. 
Pink Yoshi, unfortunately, I mean, still going to advance, but I mean, it really went downhill from him after the two races. And Peach, I mean, a wonderful show of speed and ag agility and expertise as a racer, but just too little too late. Peach is going to come up five points short, I mean, three points short of even a tiebreaker. Finals. Let's roll them out. Heat one. Let's get them going. Rosalina and Mario, remember, for the first heat. Yoshi, uh, uh, Yoshi and Koopa Troopa uh, in it as well. All deserving of this finals. Who's the fastest? And right now, Koopa Troopa looks like he's taking that commanding lead. Big burst of speed to that first hairpin into the second sector. Looking really good. Rosalina starting to climb back into it fast around that far turn. Still in it. Can she speed up here into the transition track? And she will not. Koopa Troopa is going to break away. Mario and... Uh, Yoshi there both dropped in. Koopa Troopa slowing down. Will he cross? <laughs> Barely. Barely. And that had me uh, kind of scared there. I mean, the amount of cars that don't even end up in the goo, just uh, they drop their competitors in. The competitors don't even get the chance to hit the notch, and they're just sitting there. Just bad, bad wheel footing on the transition piece. I mean, it's just, it's just bad racing. I mean, if you have the opportunity to go straight through the track and the notch tears you up that much, especially this far into the competition where we have group four and everything, I mean, just, just not impressive at all. Mario on the near side, along with, uh, well, Rosalina way back there looks like she doesn't got the speed this time. Could use the speed up though. Yoshi taking an inner line here. Might have a chance to beat out Koopa Troopa down by a length. They head into the transition piece. Will any floors be tripped? Both of them. Rosalina left away. Mario speeding to the win. Looks like Rosalina will grab points too. She speeds to the end. And points are jumbled through the second race. And look at the commotion there. I mean, just, just truly... Unmatched chaos into that uh, transition section with the fake floors. I mean, cars just can't handle it. They just cannot handle it. Heat free. Send them down again. Rosalina with three. Koopa Troopa with five. Mario with five. Yoshi with zero points to her name, even though, well, she came out absolutely killing it in the first two races of the last group. Yoshi going up against Mario here, a chance to pick up some points. Rosalina trying to keep up with Koopa Troopa, who seems to be the fastest of the bunch by a large margin through the transition. Drops Rosalina in, and he is tricked out. He is face backwards, caught on the rail, and Mario backwards 360 and all of it. He will pick up five once again. Again. Koopa Troopa left out there, wheels stuck on the rail, got through the transition piece once again, and again, this has happened so many times to him, just sits there right at the, uh, the uh, peak of the track right before the downhill section, at the precipice, better said. Five and five for Mario. Five for Koopa Troopa, a chance for him to climb back in. He needs five, and Mario needs to fail for a tiebreaker to be in order. I'm unsure what's going to happen here, but Koopa Troopa has good odds. He's been fast through all the races, and going up against Yoshi seems like it might be an easier race for him. On the inside line, he's out to a bigger lead. Two, three lengths here. Yoshi looks like she's turning on the jets here. Might be hard for Koopa Troopa. He has to take an outer line here. Yoshi, big lead. Rosalina needs to get through this and drop Mario in. Koopa Troopa must get through. No, no one gets through except for Pink Yoshi who's got zero points to her name. She may not even finish, but she will. And Mario with five and five, easily enough to take him right to the victory here. Three cars in the goo, but Mario really happy in this goo moment. As, uh, well, uh, he's going to be going to the, the finals, 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 whatever we like to call it. The, the super finals, the end of the deal the end of the ordeal coming in now four videos again yoshi egg shy guy b dasher peach b dasher mario now in the p wing to act. <laughs>
Welcome back to day five of the Mario Kart Slime Tournament here on Races and Fun. A quick reminder, we still have spots open for the mail-in tournament. Don't forget to message us on Facebook if you want to compete and send in your car to race against all the other cars on both Races and Fun and Diecast Racing TV. And now it's time to get on with the next day of the Mario Kart Slime Tournament. Hey everybody, I'm Jeremiah, and I'm filling in for Brendan in today's video. It's time for the first group. We have Mario, Daisy, Wario, and the Pipe. And I believe this is the first time we've ever seen a Pipe compete in a Mario Kart uh, video here on Races and Fun. It is Mario. Comes out quick to lead, but here comes Pipe as well. And I think the Pipe might be able to overtake for the lead. Yes, he does. As we go into the second turn, and Pipe will dunk Wario. Mario will dunk Daisy as we go into the final straight. Pipe with the first five of the day. And Mario doesn't even have enough speed to get to the end of the line. So that is considered a DNF as well. Pipe with the first five. And the only five, only points at all for this first group. Very unexpected for an inanimate object like a pipe to be so good at racing. Guess we'll have to see he does even better in the next couple of races. Mario getting caught in the edge of the track there. And that's what got rid of all of his speed. Unfortunate for him. Let's see if he can have a comeback in the next three races. Heat two. Here we go. All eyes are on the pipe. As we start this next race into the first rainbow straight, they go. It's Mario and Pipe neck and neck as we go into the first corner. And Pipe overtakes for the lead, but Mario does have a slight advantage as we go into the second corner. But he does have a little bit of a trouble on that bumpy section. And he loses some speed. As we go into the dunk section. Pipe gets stuck there. And Pipe gets dunked. Mario will be able to come out with the lead. But he comes off the track. And here comes Daisy. And she'll be the first one to cross the line. And the only one. My only question would be. What would have happened if Mario had gone so far. That he would have actually passed the line if he was on the track. I'm not sure how that would have been resolved. Pipe was actually to there first. He got stuck on the side of the track. And that allowed Mario some time to dunk him. And Wario getting dunked by Daisy. Who ended up finishing in first in the wild wing. Mario is in the pipe frame. Wario in the bad wagon. And then the pipe. I believe that's the sports coupe. And they're off for race three. It's pipe and Mario again. Neck and neck. Pipe now in the slight lead. And Mario is facing some pressure from Wario. And here comes Daisy as well. Pipe is still continuing to lead the pack as we go into the dunk section and Wario way too far behind he gets dunked by Pipe who almost comes off the track there but he finishes in first if you want to call him a he it's probably an it but as we get going it is uh, the Pipe who is in first and all three other cars got dunked Daisy and Mario in a standoff so close together Mario actually having some trouble there on that dunk tank actually on the side of the track before he entered it and that just put him in the wrong position for that trigger so pipe with 10 points daisy with five mario and wario both with zero as we enter the final heat of this group let's see if anyone can make any drastic moves if mario or wario win this heat there will be a tiebreaker with daisy for second place and the second advancement spot to the finals of this video and it's Mario who comes out to the lead and he might be able to dunk pipe but they both get dunked too close together and here comes Daisy in the lead Wario is also coming as well it won't be enough points to cause a tiebreaker and Daisy will have 10 points along with pipe Wario only has three and then Mario will have zero so it will be pipe and Daisy advancing to the finals of this video personally I'd love to see the pipe finish in the finals of this overall tournament and possibly even in the channel versus channel tournament that would be amazing for pipe to get that far 
So 10 points for Daisy and Pipe. And now it's time for the second group. We have Thwomp, Hammer Bro, Bowser, and Yoshi in this second group. Three of these cars, Bowser and his minions. One car, Yoshi, all alone. Let's see if Yoshi can do anything against his enemies and possibly even win this group. But not at this point, it's not looking like it's very likely because Thwomp is leading the pack as we go into the dunk section. Thwomp not activating his trigger. So that gave a chance for Hammer Bro to finish. Yoshi coming in at second. And I believe Bowser and Hammer Bro both DNF. Hammer Bro not able to get past the dunk tank. He didn't get dunked, but he didn't have enough speed to continue moving down the track. And Bowser getting dunked by Yoshi. Thwomp. Not quite an inanimate object, he does have a face, but still he is not a normal organic being like we see most of the Mario characters. But Thwomp with five points, Yoshi with three as we enter Heat 2. Can Hammer Bro and Bowser make a comeback in this group? Thwomp out to the lead already in this first group. He is made of pure stone, so he is quite heavy, and that may be helping him get farther ahead in this track. But Yoshi is close behind in the B-dasher as we go around the second turn. But I think Yoshi's going to get dunked by Swamp, and there he goes, dunked right there. But, and uh, Swamp will finish in first, and I think somebody's behind him. Who is it? Bowser. And Bowser will get three points, and every little point counts. So he will be tied with Yoshi for second, and then Swamp will have ten. Hammer Bro with zero with another DNF. There goes Thwomp dunking Yoshi and then Bowser dunking Hammer Bro. Yoshi is having a pretty hard time against Bowser and his minions in this group. Let's see if he can do better in the second two races of this group and possibly even advance. Right now he's tied with Bowser, so whoever gets points first will be in that second place advancement spot. As we start Heat 3, it is Bowser who is in the lead being followed by Yoshi and now Thwomp with a big boost of speed and Thwomp back in the lead, but here comes Yoshi as well. They're all very close as we go into the second turn. It is Thwomp and Yoshi in the lead in separate dunk tanks. So Bowser and Hammer Bro will be dunked and Thwomp pushing Yoshi across the line. Yoshi will have a five and now Yoshi is in the runnings for winning this heat. Bowser and Hammer Bro, no match for Thwomp and Yoshi in this race. Both getting dunked at the same time. They were all really close and a great nose block by Yoshi keeping Thwomp from that next five. So Yoshi has eight, Thwomp has 13. Yoshi can still tie it up. So going to the final heat in the rainbow straight into the first turn. It is Bowser in the lead, but of course, Thwomp having some trouble there actually, but he's able to correct himself. And now he's back in the lead as we go into the second turn into the dunk tank and Thwomp will dunk Yoshi with some force and that will seal his advancement and Bowser coming in at second with three points that'll give him six but that's not enough to pass Yoshi who has eight so it will be Thwomp and Yoshi advancing to the finals of this video and there goes Hammer Bro another DNF fourth DNF in a row with zero points total for this heat. Definitely unfortunate for him. But now it is time for the finals of this video. We have Yoshi, we have Daisy, we have Pipe, and we have Thwomp. And only one of these cars will advance to the finals of this tournament. Which one will it be? Comment down below. But I'm rooting for Pipe as we go into the first turn. Pipe coming out with a lot of speed into the second 
turn they go, and I think Pipe will be able to dunk. I believe it's the Womp. And yes, he does there. Finishing with quite a ways ahead of second place. Who's Yoshi? Will he be able to cross the line? He's running out of speed, and he will barely crawl across the line and get those three points, which is very important, especially on this track where at any point you could DNF. Daisy and Thwomp DNFing in this first race. And Thwomp did so well in the previous group. If he was paired up with Pipe. Let's see if he can do better if he's not paired up with Pipe, with like Yoshi or Daisy. Let's see what he can do in the next couple of races. And there goes Pipe. And then Yoshi. He had a couple spins before he entered this first or this uh, straight. That's what caused him loss of speed. So Pipe with five, Yoshi with three, as we start heat two. Let's see what Thwomp and Daisy can do in response. Onto the rainbow straight yet again into the first turn. And it is uh, Thwomp who comes out to lead Pipe in second. And he's gaining speed quickly. And he's going to come back and overtake for the lead over Thwomp. But I think they are in different dunk tanks. So none of them will be done. But I think we have three finishers this time. Pipe with another five. And here comes Yoshi barely coming out over Thwomp, and that'll give Yoshi three, Thwomp with only two. And then we have Pipe with five. It's very unusual for any car to get two points on this track just because you don't have usually more than two finishers because of how the dunk tank works. So that's a good accomplishment for Thwomp. Yoshi with six, Pipe with 10, Thwomp with two. So Pipe is in the running to advance to the finals of this tournament. As we go into the next race, it's Thwomp and Pipe neck and neck. Onto the turn they go. It is Pipe in the lead. Can Thwomp gain some speed and retake the lead? It's not looking like it. And Pipe will still hold lead as we go into the second turn into the dunk tank. And I think he's going to be able to dunk Thwomp, but he has a crash there. And Thwomp is able to get past. And Thwomp will take the next win. Yoshi in second. What a downfall for Pipe. He hit the trigger wrong, crashed, and that allowed Thwomp to dunk him. So there's Pipe and Daisy up there. Not dunked, but still a DNF. Look at that. So close to getting across. But he still is in lead in terms of points. So let's see if he can get another five in the final race. We have 10 for Pipe. We have nine for Yoshi, very close. And then we have seven for Thwomp. So the advancement spot is definitely in contention. Here we go, the final race is Pipe in the lead, being followed by Thwomp as we go into the first turn. Pipe still in the lead, but here comes Thwomp gaining some speed. Can he make it before Pipe gets to the dunk tank? I don't think they're in the same dunk lane though. So Pipe will be dunking, uh, Daisy and Pipe has some spins there here comes Thwomp and they're really close but it will be Pipe who will be in first place and here comes Daisy and she survived the dunk and she got to finish as well but Pipe with the win with another five that'll get him 15 points and no other car will be able to pass that so Pipe will advance to the finals of this tournament just as I wanted definitely watch out for Pipe in the finals. I sure hope he'll be able to get to the finals channel versus channel as well. Pipe with 15, Thwomp with 10, a five point difference. Thwomp with a good attempt, but it will be Pipe in the sports coupe advancing along with the four. <laughs> I am uh, sorry to have missed video five and the chaos of that involvement. Pipe, what a racer, am I right? Not to mention Mario in the pipe frame, who I remember 
left the track so many times in, <laughs> in the last few lengths. Hey everybody, I'm Brendan, and I'm excited here as we head to group six. Um, I will mention, we have a few more open spots still left in the mail-in tournament. Mail yours in. Facebook for races and fun is where you go. And there's where you get your entry number so you know which car to be looking for. Also, that Diecast Racing TV channel that's running that parallel tournament, well, it's still running it. And you best get over there for the extra content. Here we go. First set of four here in group six as we find our sixth finalist for this tournament. Donkey Kong in the sports coupe bounces through the green section and comes out nice and clean. Do we have any more finishers to come off the screen? Yes, we do! And Mario, I believe there in the P-Wing, actually had a lead until he rode the rail and lost all speed, and Cabby will pick up the three points. Only, uh, I believe that's a white Yoshi in the goo. It's good to be back. As we head into this new year, happy new year to everybody. Indeed, if I've not already said that. Look at Mario spin there. That was at least a 720. As he rolled out and then lost a point. And that point could make an effect later on, especially since usually uh, even the best of racers will DNF at least once over the course of the four heats. On the near side, Cappy and White Yoshi far side. I think that's White Yoshi, maybe a gray. I'm just gonna stick with Yoshi. On the far side, Mario and Donkey Kong. Sports Coupe Donkey Kong, your real speedster in this one. It's hard to imagine any other cars catching up. Mario with the P-Wing, way too many lengths behind to make a difference. Donkey Kong will trip the trap door, and there you go. Mario right in, Sports Coupe to the end. Five more points for Donkey Kong, and we're looking, oh, riding the rail there is Yoshi, and he'll come across. I think we're looking at a possible individual sweep here. It's it's very hard in this particular tournament style, but if anyone's going to do it, the speed with Donkey Kong right now is uh, unmatched, honestly, compared to the well, every other car we've seen over the last six videos. Donkey Kong way out in front, and White Yoshi there. I, comes down right onto the rail. I don't know how he even gets his wheels up over the rail. That's half the height of any vehicle we've seen. But he just skips up there and somehow still grinds all the way down to the finish. Donkey Kong on the near side with Cappy. Already a big speed lead for Donkey Kong. A length already. Maybe even two as we head into this turn. By far three. Four. Cappy. Moving ahead though, trying to keep pace, just can't. Mario with some speed here on the near side, and he only has to battle with Yoshi, who has no speed coming out of that second turn. Mario will drop Yoshi into the goo. Uh, Donkey Kong as well escaping, and he'll get five, followed by... M okay. Well, I almost said <laughs> spoke too soon, but Mario will barely make his way over the finish line. I don't know where all the speed's going. I mean, this is the, this is the downhill section. Uh... Maybe the replay will hold some answers, but Mario did not end up on the rail. He just, he went, look, he's going down the hill. Oh, he's spinning. Look at that. Backwards, back to forwards in a second here. I'm assuming. I mean, yeah, he just kind of pinballed down there. Back and forth, hitting two unmoving flippers, you could call it, and all the speed went away. He had a chance to beat Donkey Kong, but right now Donkey Kong has, uh, Three fives, and this is a hard one to individual, individual sweep on because we've seen many vehicles uh, be in first place, not have any problems with the trap door, and just completely get caught up on flat ground. I mean, I don't know how it happens, but it happens in this tournament so often. Donkey Kong way ahead once again. Mario on the far side to battle with him. Cappy and Yoshi pushing ahead as well. Which one of them all will advance up to all uh, any of them? Still, Donkey Kong's going to push out another five, but who will follow him? Looks like Mario has the points right now if all three of them continue to be as DNF'd as they are. It looks like they're going to be DNF'd. I mean, three trap doors, three vehicles in the goo, one of them really bothering an unsuspecting cheap cheap. I mean, just not the place to swim today, honestly. Wow, he got hit hard. And Donkey Kong will finish up. 20 points for Donkey Kong. That is not likely. That is not seen often. 
in well not seen ever actually i think in this particular race i think someone individually sweeped the finals in like video two or three if i remember correctly but uh no one with the opportunity that donkey kong has right now now we have a next set of four we have yoshi bob on baby peach and topper topper the rabbit there from super mario odyssey if you remember um not a difficult boss to fight but uh certainly a fun one yoshi near side with some speed peach holding pace with him now in front topper as well and he's gonna get away the only one to break away and not be good here and across the finish line somehow he will be the five bob -um gets stuck right at the top there through the transition not trap doored just trapped and he'll roll back right onto the, the closed door. I don't know how uh, Peach and Yoshi were the ones to fall here. They were both in the lead. Look at that. But Yoshi just flipped over, I think, the notch in the transition, lost all footing, and then somehow Peach did not trip the trap door for Topper. I mean, it just didn't happen. The mechanisms are too inconsistent. The Discord server, by the way, still open, still welcoming new members. We want to build that community long it may take as we um haven't really done a discord server up until now but we're excited to have been able to start the venture please do join link will be in the description with that don't forget to subscribe and uh, check out the diecast racing tv channel as well all that available for extra content and extra ways to be involved with races and fun on the near side peach now on the far side topper with speed this time yoshi slowly catching up topper loses all footing trap door for both of them and both of the goo and peach will break away he almost got out of it as he was trap doored right at the edge i think almost his back wheels uh only his back wheels got caught but he was sent down bob -um, slowest of them all had no chance Look at him, yeah, he got some air time there through the, the flipping of the door. Baby Peach, five points as well. Heat three. And it's a toss up right now, it really is a uh, uncertain race. A lot of even speeds and uh, skill levels here, topper. An early lead once again, even with his arms flayed out like that, managed to get a ton of speed. Baby Peach taking it back over as she fights, and she'll be on the inner line here. She takes to the outer turn, and she'll lose all oh, out in the last place from first. bob -omb big lead, goes over, drops. No, Yoshi won't be dropped in. He'll just be stuck. Topper, I think, is following for three points. And bob -omb will come across, and, well, it's swung back the other way now. I think Yoshi's the only one with no points to his name. He'll be stuck there. Not trap door, only trapped. Goo below. The floor opens up and swallows Baby Peach. And I didn't think bob -um had it in him to take first place. I really was not expecting a lot. Oh, we almost got a... <laughs> Almost got a tic-tac-toe going in the scoreboard there. If we could put a five in Yoshi's place, we'll get a, we'll get a nice four in a row diagonal. <laughs> Listen, that is, that is mildly exciting to me, if I'm honest. Let's go for the tic-tac-toe. Come on, Yoshi, speed up there on the near side. He's got an inside line and the turn coming up here, so a chance to break away against Topper, though. He's going to need speed. He breaks out with not enough speed. Topper into the green first. He's going to flip the trap door. Yoshi will not head into it, though. Trap door did not flip. Topper is spinning, but Yoshi is stuck on the side and still no points. And the uh, four in a row tic-tac-toe will not be completed, but if, if you stick to the three-by-three three rules, we have completed... So that's a beautiful diagonal of fives. One for the record books, I guess. And then bob -omb flips over there into the door, and same along with Baby Peach. I mean, Topper there had no control down the back straight, but it was really Yoshi who just, he just couldn't get himself uh, out of the, the rail, which is just the biggest problem. I'd rather spin a million times than be stuck on the rail. We got a tiebreaker, though. Five and five, Baby Peach for bob -omb. Baby Peach 
will be in the near side now, Babam as well. This time they opted to put them both on the same track, so they're gonna have trouble when they hit that green section. Babam to the near side as he takes the wide turn, Baby Peach gaining back a length, maybe two, maybe even, and Babam is dropped into the goo. Peach just stops. <laughs> uh, I don't know how we rule this. I I don't. I I guess we do another one. Babam had a lead. I mean, we're gonna show the replay, but I mean. Uh, what do we do here? We do it again. That's that's the only option. Bob on near side, Peach far side. They have uh, very wisely opted not to put them on the same track this time, so they can't interfere with each other's racing. Peach near side up by a few lengths. Bob on needs to catch up here, but has a longer turn to deal with. But speed here into the third straight. Peach up by only a length or two. They will both get through it. Bob on much slower, and I think that's it for him. Will even cross. Yes, he will. So, some posterity there, but that's all he's got. I mean, there it's just a struggle, and you can see how much the the notches or whatever trips those trap doors that the cars have to hit can be a problem, even for the the safe vehicles, the ones who don't fall into the goo. It can just impede the racing so much, and that happens a lot. And speed is lost so often. That happened to Bob on there. Obviously not enough practice with traversing that section, even though he's a fast racer and had the potential to move on. But that was some baby peach at the end with Mario Topper and of course Donkey Kong who has yet to lose today. Donkey Kong with some speed again. Mario trying to end that reign of Donkey Kong. Will he do it? Maybe he's only down a couple lengths. Maybe even just one here. Donkey Kong's so fast down the hill and Mario is nowhere to be seen. Topper will grab three points. Keep himself in the game here. And we'll start with 5-3 and a double zero. Mario and uh, Baby Peach together in the goo. The more you win, the more you goo. I mean, really, that's, that's, uh, that's what ends up happening further you advance in this competition, you just have to eat more goo. Heat 2. Near side Baby Peach, who will go up against Donkey Kong Topper and Mario on the far side diverse. Donkey Kong again, just out of the gate. Unbelievable speed. He's got five once again. He's working on a six win. Mario is trying to cut down on it. He's been a lot faster this time. Now only two lengths behind, maybe even three at this point. They come across, they're close. Donkey Kong spins, Mario nose hits. And instead of blocking in front, he knocks him forward. Topper will also finish and keep himself again in the game with now five points. Mario needed to zag to the outside instead of zigging to the inside. Donkey Kong had and uh, left an opportunity open for Mario. And Mario said, no thanks. Baby Peach falls into the goo. And, uh, well, Donkey Kong is only two away from an individual sweep in one of the harder tournaments to individually sweep, I'll say for sure. Keep an eye on Donkey Kong. Lane three, up against Topper this time. Mario still looking to get at least one win just to make him avoid the sweep. Some old friends, but also some old rivals in those two, and he would love nothing more than to end that possibility. Donkey Kong, big lead right here. Will he stay straight and stay strong in this uh, transition? He will. Somehow, looks like the wheels bounce, but he's out of it. Topper not fast enough. Donkey Kong now with three fives in the finals. Peach stuck there at the end. Pipe frame tangled in the rails. And I think Mario didn't finish. A lot of goo for him today. I, I think with this win from Donkey Kong, I don't know if any other car can win, but we're fortunate enough to have an individual sweep opportunity, so it's still quite interesting going down to this last race. Though Top, is Topper still in this? I mean, no, I think he's out of it. Yeah, he's not, no chance. Eight points, you can't get more than seven, more than six points in a, well, you can't get more than five, but he can't get seven, is what I'm saying, so he's got no chance. Donkey Kong has secured the win, but can he secure the individual sweep on the far side against Peach? Mario and Topper with some speed this time. Topper even with the lead. Momentarily, Donkey Kong grabs it right back, though. Two lengths, three lengths, maybe even four on the inside line with the turn. Five, six, 
through the transition, doesn't drop at all, doesn't get hurt at all, a little bit of speed lost, but he's across and that's individually a full sweep in this tournament. Well, at least in this group, but what a way to finish the day. Topper came close with eight points, but nothing speaks to 20. Mario finally makes his way to the end with Baby Peach, but that's not gonna be nearly enough once again. That will wrap this one up. Donkey Kong filling out that sixth spot and probably the most uh, <laughs> frightening of the finals racers with an absolutely dominant performance, even more than the pipe in the sports coupe. Two more. Only a few spots left in the mail-in tournament. Deadline extended to January 31st to accommodate some shipping and uh, other difficulties people have had. And we encourage you to submit a car if you haven't already. It's free and it's a chance for you to get your very own stock car here on the channel. Video 7 here of the uh, Rainbow Tournament and... We got our new set of four here with a piranha plant in there, a Mario in the in the B wagon. I don't actually know the name of that one. I know the sneaker, the standard cart, and the sports coupe, and that's about it. The B mobile. Is that one even uh I think that one's a Mario Kart 8. I'm not sure. Either way, it's it's probably not gonna last very long as Mario seems to have no speed here. Bob Omb coming out in the sneaker looking pretty fast through the trapdoor section. He's gonna get out, so will Piranha Plant spinning around Piranha Plant has a chance to take the lead and he will! He will at the end! By a wheel or even half or even of sixth, he's got it at the end. Let's get a replay, maybe. Three cars also cross this time. And we're starting in a flurry of excitement. Peach in the standard cart will fall. Somehow even Mario and the Bee managed to get by and pick up a couple points. Yeah, wow. A lot of turns from Bob and I believe Piranha got it. I No, they're not going to give it to him. I was wrong. I thought he had it. But I was I was maybe mistaken by who got the the wheels over the line first. I, I mean, that's a tough one. I, I wouldn't need to see a full replay of that. But, uh, even in the slower replay, it was hard to tell. No matter, though. Do not forget to join the Discord, by the way, if you have not already. Here's Piranha Plant and bob -omb going at it, and they're going to come through the trapdoor section, and Piranha Plant will fall. bob -omb will kick up five years. And the Discord server is growing, and we're hearing from more and more of you day after day. And we're coming into chat. You can ask questions, give feedback, just generally enjoy the fans, uh, the fellowship of fans. It'll be a good chance to uh, bring new ideas to the channel, too. If you have any, you're welcome to drop them there, because we consider every all of them as we try to make more and more creative content for you guys. Thank you for everyone who's joined. Thank you for everyone who continues to support and watch daily and leave comments. We love hear seeing your comments as well. And it's been uh, a wonderful time. We're excited for this new year of, of racing. On the near side, bob -omb with Mario B. And then Standard Card Peach followed by Piranha Plant as we respectively go outside. On the near side now, Piranha Plant. And Peach in the Standard Card looks to have some speed this time, bouncing through the bumps, and she loses it all down to fourth place, even against Mario. bob -omb near side, close with Mario, and he's going to drop. Mario's gone. Peach might be through, but I know Bob... Oh, Peach! On the near side, speeding past bob -omb, and somehow Mario didn't drop either. Four car finish, I think the second time that's happened. I thought Mario dropped, I think he just hit a notch and slowed down for a second. Only triggering bob -omb's trap door who got through. Then Peach comes down, speeding because bob -omb hit a rail, grabs three points and even Mario finishes. Uh, the first time or the second, I believe, that we've seen a one, two, three, five, all numbers on the board, no zeros in heat three. bob -omb, who lost out his individual sweep opportunity as he only picked up two points there. 
On the near side, we got Peach and Mario and the Bee going head to head. The uh, heroic couple now uh, getting to competition. Prana Plant, Bob Omb, Bowser enemies duking it out here near side. Bob Omb, ooh, drops Prana Plant in. He's not, I don't know if he'll get away there. He looks slow and he will barely get out of it. Three points for him. Mario and the Bee with another two. And I think that's going to leave it with Bob Omb and Cat Peach advancing who came back with five here. So no Piranha Plant to see in the finals this time. And it was just because, even though Piranha Plant was faster there, did not trigger the notch ranked. Even if he did, I, I, I don't know if he would have taken a win. Bob Marty had 12 points, but still, it's, you gotta make sure you're hitting the trap door uh, button, or whatever it is on the track that allows that to occur. Let's get our second group going. Heat one, Yoshi, Luigi, Penguin suited, while Luigi and Baby Luigi. Near side, Yoshi along with Luigi. I don't know why he opts for the Penguin suit. Maybe there's a weird trick of aerodynamics I know not about, but, well, seems to be working so far here in that Mach 8. Always good to see Luigi in the Mach 8. That's where he thrives. Near side, Luigi. Is he going to beat out that red Yoshi? He will. While well, Luigi gets through as well. It's a foot race to the end. And Luigi spins around and loses control. He'll start with three points. And while Luigi in the B-Dasher. Meanwhile, he's normally seen in a Wiggler or a Biddy Buggy. And the B-Dasher has served him well in this tournament. Baby Luigi stuck there on the sneaker. With a wheel hanging over the rail, and Yoshi in the goo. And you see Luigi there lost control down the last few lengths and wasn't able to recover. Well, Luigi with five points to start. Heat two, we go. Baby Luigi near side with the red Yoshi. Far side, Waluigi in the penguin suit, Luigi. And he certainly looks to be fast this time as well. He's going to go up against Waluigi here, who'd like to get another win if possible. Near side turn, here we come. Now Waluigi out a length or two. Can he get through the trapdoor section without falling? He will. No trapdoors trip. Luigi to the end. He's down a few lengths, and it's the same type of finish. Three points for Luigi. Waluigi with five, and Red Yoshi's going to manage to escape across with two. And now Waluigi working on a uh, uh, win streak here. For some reason, completely missing all the all the trapdoor buttons. Red Yoshi hit one, sending Baby Luigi to his doom, to his goo. Mm, and he has only zero points to his name now. Waluigi, and he's looking at a win streak here and only has to go up against baby luigi this time who has no points to his name so this could be an easier one for him if he stays fast up a few lengths baby luigi he's gonna take an inner line compared to waluigi here but is so far behind i don't know if we'll make a difference waluigi big outer line way in front of baby luigi baby luigi speeds up waluigi loses all control and he's done for no more win streak Red Yoshi with five points. Somehow, Baby Luigi finishes as well. And Waluigi, all of a sudden, his car jumps on a flat track. I mean, it really, I think it was in that curve down. See how it uh, goes downhill and curves slightly outward? I think that's where he got caught somewhere. And he didn't even get to the goo. And there goes uh, the individual win streaks. I mean, I'm telling you what, and I was saying this last time, it is very, very hard to pull off a win streak, an individual sweep, sorry, in this one. Just because of, of all those things that can go wrong, even when you're the fastest car, there are so many ways to mess up in that transition section, in the lanes, and so it's really impressive that that can happen. Uh, true props to Donkey Kong, who was able to make it happen. Red Yoshi far side, along with Baby Luigi, who's very slow. Waluigi near side, going against the Penguin Luigi, who falls into the water. Waluigi zigs and zags and gets stuck on the rail, and Red Yoshi's going to take it. He tried to go outside. You saw that. He saw, and this was good racing. I, I will point out this is good racing. He saw Red Yoshi on the inside make the cut. I think we'll see this coming here. 
and he tries to go away there for a second and just get stuck. He turns too much and you see he gets his wheel stuck because he needed to go out for that. You had the right direction but the wrong execution. Both of them will advance though, 13 and 12, and let's head to the finals. Heat 1, bob -omb, Waluigi, Cat Peach, Yoshi. Those are your four finalists. Who will come away with the win? My money... Well, I shouldn't put it anywhere as a commentator, but if I had to, I'd maybe put it on the Waluigi, maybe bob -omb. I don't know. The other two do not look like they have it all together out there, especially in this final situation. Waluigi, far side there, now coming back to the near side. bob -omb, way behind. Looks like he will not have any points this time. Red Yoshi speeding. Waluigi's in the other lane. Waluigi's in the other lane, and he falls completely off the track. Peach, where is she? Gone. bob -omb finishes, gets three points when he was by far last. I don't know what happened. Somehow, Waluigi ended up in the other lane with all that distance in between. Peach is just stuck there on the trap door, probably just absolutely dumbfounded by the whole situation. And Waluigi is, well, he's pretty shaken up down there. And anyone who put their money on him might be uh, in trouble. I mean, do we get any look at it? No, we just see the fall. Oh, what a terrible tumble. Hit some of the connect structuring on the way down. It ends up sideways. Much worse fate than Goo, if I'm honest. Someone better check him out. Medical officials, maybe some toads there on the side can... Maybe a toad's worth or two can get on it. But it uh, looks like he'll be okay. Zero points to his name, though, so that's not too okay. And let's get to Heat 2. Well, certainly an interesting start to this final. Red Yoshi and Bob on now on the near side to fight it out. Speeds for them, probably similar, I'd say, but bob -Omb has trouble when you take to the turns. Look at all the length you just lose there through the turns. Peach way behind while Ouija has a chance to take some points here if he can stay straight. Peach accelerating on the far side there, only a few lengths down through the trapdoor section. Trapdoor is not tripped like normal. Waluigi gets away, but so does Peach. And that's five points, then three. I couldn't tell on Bob. bob -Omb will get away with two. And bob -Omb will amount to five with the first two heats. Yoshi... Now with uh, zero on this one, Cat Peach with three, Waluigi with five, and we're all very close here. Two more heats to go to the side. I feel like this one could have a tiebreaker. I mean, we're just still close. Only within a few points of each other after heat two. And who knows which way this one will go. Let's get him again. Five, five, three, five. Very close. On the near side, standard card Peach in the cat suit, by the way, if you didn't notice. And Red Yoshi, far side, Baba Waluigi. Waluigi picking up some speed, hopefully here through the turn and down the bumps. He will start to pick up some speed and close that gap and then take over the lead against Baba. Now he's got an inside line to work with. He's out way ahead here. Will he remember to trip the trap door? He will not. Baba gets away again. So does Red Yoshi. Waluigi with five once again and finishing backwards. And Red Yoshi on the side, sliding across and loses out. I think uh, on the three points... I wish we had been able to see how that occurred. Peach will get good. Maybe we can get an inkling of it. Red Yoshi comes across looking pretty straight right here, but takes a tumble somewhere between the here and the bottom of the hill. Maybe we'll get a look. Oh my God, coming down the hill, bob -Omb knocks him away and he slides across. I mean, that's like a vertical nose block or I, I don't know how to call that, but uh, it uh, certainly suffered him a point. I love how bob -Omb just pushed right through him. bob -Omb has no worries whatsoever about that. Rammed right through him. Get out of my way, Red Yoshi. It's time for me to pick up a couple points. bob -Omb does that, and he keeps himself in the game. Here we go. Seven points, eight points. What we do with ten points, still anyone's game here. Depends on if bob -Omb can get through. bob -Omb will not get through. Red Yoshi does. What we do does not, and Red Yoshi will come away a winner here. Five points for Red Yoshi, brings him to 12. Waluigi could do no better than 10. And Red Yoshi, not the fastest car, but certainly the luckiest or the most skilled in the transition as Waluigi suffers an upset, I'd say. As he can't get to the end more than twice. That first fall was just disastrous. And the goo for both of them. Red Yoshi coasting across victorious. Cat Peach uh, backwards. And not even close, honestly. 
That'll do it for this one. Diecast Racing TV. Check out that channel for the parallel tournament. One more spot to fill the finals. Subscribe if you have not already. Twenty spots left. I will repeat: twenty spots left in the mail-in tournament. Uh, Signups are open. Find us on the Facebook Races and Fun Facebook. You can get your entry number, and all the details are there. Submit your car. Deadline coming up January thirty-first. Twenty spots left to fill. Hello, everybody. I'm Brendan, and one spot left to fill when it comes to the finals heel here in the Rainbow Tournament as we get our first set of four going. And of these eight, only one will make it. All seven spots have been filled with various vehicles of varying degrees of ability, of, uh, which Donkey Kong from Video 6 seems to be the most likely to go nuts in the finals. Here comes Mario Toad, a little contact, and they're both backwards in finish. Toad barely gets over there. Oh, I don't know if we'll count that. His wheels are not all over. Technically, he should not get points, but again, this might be front of the finish line where they mark the finish. So we'll see. But yeah, like I was saying, Donkey Kong looks to be, well, pretty difficult to deal with and it's going to come out pretty powerful. And Toad stops right there. I, they will give him three. So I think I think it's a good rule of thumb to say it's the front of that finish tape that needs to be passed. Here we go. Sending him out again for Heat 2. Near side, we have Toad in the Mach 8. And Luigi, who I believe is in the P wing. And now we on the near side, Mario in the circuit special, as well as Mario Tanuki in that standard card, who uh, got down to the bottom and didn't finish last time. Circuit special in the lead right now. Luigi might drop Toad into the goo. He will. Luigi bounces around, gets out, will pick up three, hopefully. Mario with five, and that's two fives for the circuit special. Tanuki rear ends the P-Wing and comes across with two, and that's the second time in a row that three cars have finished here. Join the Discord, by the way, for Races and Fun if you have not already. Our community is growing number by number. And more and more people have been having the opportunity to uh, join, speak about the races, ask questions, engage with us. And it has been absolutely wonderful. So we recommend it. If you have not already, join the Discord. Link will be in the description. 2-5 to Mario in the Circuit Special. Luigi, Toad, Mario Tanuki. Mm, still... With uh, skills to be desired, not uh, not turning fast right now. Two fives for Mario, three for Luigi. Mario Tanuki with two, Toad with three. Here comes Toad near side, way ahead of Tanuki. Mario might break away here and have a chance against the circuit special. Luigi also breaks away. Looks like a three for Luigi, and yes, backwards, but still has it. Knocks the circuit special over the pillow. And that might be the first fourth wall break I've I, I've seen on the channel. I mean, I don't know how else to call it. Right over the pillow, past the camera. Yeah, wow, that's a big tumble into the goo. I think hit his head there on the trap door. Here comes a circuit special spinning out. We won't get to see that flip into the camera. No. And now, uh, Circuit Special working on an individual sweep, dare I say it? Well, hopefully I didn't jinx it. Near side, two Marios, far side, Toad and Luigi. They will turn around and the Circuit Special will take the usual lead by a few lengths. Toad accelerating here though, not giving up that easily, doesn't want to let himself die here. All the other points are close, dies on the second turn! Luigi breaks away, through the trap door, Circuit Special working on another win again. Luigi backwards and he will appear and have points. Toad slows down right before the line, he will not get points, he will not win. And Luigi will put up nine, Toad only five. 
Tanuki Mario, a pitiful two. He also gets through. That's four getting through the trapdoor section. And the circuit special, four wins in a row. That could be dangerous. Luigi there, he almost didn't get over if Toad didn't uh, transfer all that momentum. That's really fortunate for him. To advance, Luigi and Mario, we can see a huge gap in points. Luigi just <laughs> no match right now. Next set of four, green Yoshi, Spike, Cappy, and blue Yoshi. Really letting the entirety of the Yoshi family get in on this action. We've seen about one per video, which makes for eight or more. Green Yoshi, big lead in the sports coupe. Near side, we have Blue Yoshi and Cappy, neck and neck. Cappy falls behind, starts to accelerate. Here coming to the trapdoor area, and Blue Yoshi jumps through the trapdoor, knocks into Cappy. Speed loss for both of them, but Cappy picks it up down the back straight, and oh my god, Spike pushes Blue Yoshi's across vertically on his side. And Spike, I think, even gets across here. Blue Yoshi got stuck there, he went down completely sideways and upturned and Spike just couldn't get around him. It was a complete roadblock. Green Yoshi. And he's gonna start off with five here. Near side, the double Yoshis. Far side, Spike and Cappy. I never imagined Cappy to have that shape. I just really imagined the cap with the two eyeballs, but uh, I guess that is a little bit more accurate. Two Yoshis, Green Yoshi, big lead. Blue Yoshi at least keeping his wheels down on the track. Cappy breaking through as well through the trapdoor section. Any good cars, I think one or two, and the sports coupe gets to the end first. Cappy, wow, wonderful acceleration once again down that back straight, but just does not have the speed in the single lane section. And even though it speeds up at the end, it's just not enough time. Two good vehicles, Blue Yoshi and uh, Spike. I think the uh, advancing vehicles are kind of starting to become a little obvious. Big spin as he comes down, but he stays straight and he's all right. Two fives for Green Yoshi. Two threes for Cappy. Nothing really important to the other vehicles' names so far. Near side, Cappy and Blue Yoshi. Far side, Green Yoshi and Spike. Let's run him down towards the turn. Cappy, big turn for him, starts to grab a lead. Yoshi accelerating through, but loses some speed as he leaves the ground through the bumps. Wheels need to stay on the ground. And he starts to slow down here, maybe some acceleration down into the third turn. Yes, looks like green Yoshi breaks away once again. Blue Yoshi, oh, spins! He might have been knocked away. Will he come a little slow? Yes. But three points for blue Yoshi, and he's still alive in this one. Green Yoshi, a third five, and this is... Going to make for an interesting finals if Green Yoshi also picks up uh, four fives. Look at that goo jiggle as Cappy falls, and he almost had the acceleration to get up over the trap door and tip it back to straight, back to flat, but it just, just didn't. He did kind of climb up there a few lengths before being knocked down finally. He's four. Let's see him roll here. Spike on the near side with the Cappy. Far side, the double Yoshis. Again, that sports coupe off to a big lead. Cappy would like to accelerate here and pick up a win if he can. But uh, Green Yoshi down the second straight. Always so fast, and he has a huge lead into the third straight. Looks like Cappy and Green Yoshi will both break away. Cappy with some speed, maybe some acceleration down this back straight. And he's on the screen, but he's not close enough. Blue Yoshi will finish as well, and I think Spike is completely out of it. Blue Yoshi is going to come up a point short, or two points short of Cappy, who will pick up nine. And Green Yoshi with four fives in a similar point structure as we advance, a 20 and a nine being our top two. But I really think Cappy's got a chance if he can pick up that early speed. There's no way of telling how that change will be made. How that boost in skill will happen over the next few seconds, but, well, I mean, we've seen crazier things. We've seen cars really struggle and improve over the course of a single video. I've seen it, and I've seen them, I think, uh, one went from really 
not performing well, though, getting second place overall in a, in a previous, maybe a Street Beast tournament. I don't know. Here's the finals. Mario, Luigi, Green Yoshi, Cappy. A pretty solid group, if I do say so myself. Green Yoshi, again, the speed down the second straight, picking up with the Circuit Special is fast, and the B-Dash is back in it. Maybe some improvement from Cappy. He might drop Yoshi into the goo. He will. No one into the goo, actually. Spins out Yoshi. Cappy accelerated to the end. Circuit Special's got no room to run, and... A big turnover in performance, Green Yoshi, only with two. Somehow all cars finished, no trapdoors tripped, and, uh, well, there, but too late on Luigi, and Luigi will even get one here. Improvement indeed. Wow, Cappy. Five points, starting strong. That knocks out the individual sweep opportunity for both Mario and the Circuit Special and Cappy and the B-Dasher, who both, um, no, sorry, and Green Yoshi in the Sports Coupe, who both had that opportunity with five of four straight wins in the first heat, and Cappy said absolutely not to both of them. Near side, Green Yoshi speeding up Circuit Special with a still a length lead. Now they turn once again, Green Yoshi accelerating and has the lead by a nose through the trapdoor section. Circuit Special spins out, Cappy's in the goo, and Green Yoshi goes five again. Luigi will also finish here. Pick up three, I mean two, and the circuit special will speed to three. And Cappy goes from five to none. Which, I guess, I guess this was more the expected finish for Cappy, knowing that he has struggles to accelerate down the, the second straight, but, I, I mean, he's still got a chance considering that first performance. Mario, Luigi, Green Yoshi, and Cappy. All close in points as we head into Heat 3. We don't really know how things will be decided yet based on this stretch. I kind of rooting for Cappy here. A little bit of an underdog. Near side Green Yoshi, Cappy trying to keep up and even taking a lead through the first straight. How do we do in the turn? Green Yoshi takes it back once again. Cappy accelerating. Now up by a nose, even a double nose. A couple wheel lengths, now a full length. And into the next turn, Green Yoshi speeding up through the trapdoor section. Yoshi's in the goo. Circuit special near side. Cappy, he's got him by a leg. By a wheel. Acceleration far side found the open space and nailed it. I mean, wow, that's some excellent racing right there. If, as far as dexterity on the track, I got to give it to Cappy. Look at him. He comes down here. Circuit Special is faster, and you'll see this in the follow-up replay. He finds that outside line and just guns it to the end. A couple collisions there, and you can see that Cappy outstretched that wheel. Keeps himself in the game. Mario with 9, Cappy with 10, and even Yoshi still in it with 7. Luigi's out of it at this point for first place. Tie breaks are possible. I don't know how the points will all uh, uh, permutate here as we run this last race. Cappy, a little slower this time. Needs kind of a miracle here, but even if he gets uh, second place, he's looking at maybe a tie with Yoshi or even a win. Uh, looks like Mario speeding up down here through the far side trap door. He has room to run and he will run his sideways. He has no speed and he's knocked across, but Cappy knocks Yoshi across first and that might allow for a tie break. I think that will. Yoshi will get 5 to 12. Mario, I believe he's going to get 3 to 12. And Cappy's going to get 2 to 12. So we have a triple tie break. Excellent racing at the end. Cappy, again, dexterity right there. Saw that Yoshi must finish first for anything to advance. And I think that's exactly what's going to happen. See that push across at the end? That's Yoshi by just a nose. And it's a triple tiebreaker. That is unbelievable, unfathomable even. And I, <laughs> I was not expecting such a finish. All three of these vehicles totally worthy of the final spot. Yoshi stretching out an early lead. Cappy, ooh, slow to that first turn, doesn't look good. Circuit Special also needs some acceleration. He's finally starting to get it up a length, maybe two. Yoshi, how does he take to that big outside turn? Ooh, not so good. Circuit Special, trap door, spins in to the middle section. Yoshi's stuck, and Mario will take it to the end. And Yoshi won't even beat out Cappy there, who had a bad gate uh, exit. And Mario and the Circuit Special tried and true. Speed wins the day, and he will fill out that last spot. I mean, deservingly so, for sure. All three of these vehicles, absolutely impressive racing, and it looks like Mario came out the victor.
He will take it to the finals. Finals coming up. Diecast Racing TV for the Parallel Tournament. Do not forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Yoshi Egg. Donkey Kong Pipe. Peach. Yoshi again. Mario in the Circuit Special. I mean, I can't even imagine who's going to win this one. Such excellent racers we have today at the Mario Kart Rainbow Tournament Finals. Hello, everybody. I'm Brendan, and I'm excited to bring you this final set of racing here for the 64 Mario Kart Karts who have had the opportunity to race in this tournament on the Races and Fun Channel. Yoshi Egg topples over. Donkey Kong's gone. Shy Guy nudges Circuit Special across, and we are off to a wonderful start. Join the Discord. If you haven't, why not? We're actually growing. We're actually getting more members. People are talking a little bit more, and we're hoping to continue to grow it and build our fan base um, over time. So we have a chance for you guys to talk and give feedback and interact with us and maybe even do some events soon. If we get enough people, maybe we'll, maybe we'll run some fun little events and fantasy leagues and all that fun stuff. I can see it coming. And don't forget to check out that Diecast Racing TV channel as we bring it home on that uh, channel as well, parallel to this one, soon to be that channel versus channel racing. Heat 2. Starting off strong. This one's a good one. Yoshi Egg. I had high hopes for Yoshi Egg. Started off bad. Donkey Kong. A little closer here on the near side. Also a fast vehicles. Both sports coupes. And they're going to be dangerous out there on the track. Yoshi Egg. Near side almost topples over again through the second sector. Through those bumps. He loses a lot of control. Inside line. Yes, speed. He's on the side of the rail again. He's off the track basically. He'll start to roll again. He might get to the finish. Donkey Kong spins and Shy Guy's backwards finishing with three once again. Yoshi Egg is tanking. He's stuck up there. Not a point to his name. The Mario uh, Mario in the Circuit Special will, will net no points, but still keeps Yoshi Egg in it quite a bit, with the highest points total being only six, with Shy Guy getting two threes. Yoshi Egg almost crested the hill and was able to... At least amble down for a couple points, but uh, no luck. Good spin by Donkey Kong. Found the right line to keep in front of Shy Guy as well. Five, six, zero, and five. Yoshi Egg. A lot of people favor him for at least getting to the finals in this one. Maybe even winning. So this is a lot of nerves for a lot of fans. Yoshi Egg on the near side. Racing fast. Oh, he's out of the track again for a second. He recovers a little bit. He's back in. Maybe he'll be able to salvage this run. Shy Guy, far side, with Donkey Kong, neck and neck as they head to the trapdoor section, and they both drop each other in. They will not get any points. Yoshi Egg won't either. Mario in the circuit special brings it home to the finish line with five more points, ensuring that he will be advancing to the finals. Oh, wow. I mean, I mean, where do we go from here? Yoshi Egg's out of it. Because even if Yoshi Egg got five here, I mean, Shy Guy has three and three. So Shy Guy's just more. Circuit Special's just more. I mean, your egg is just uh, cracking. Yolks are everywhere and not the kind that get work done. Heat four. Yoshi Egg... A sad loss. I mean, I think he's a little bit more favoring Donkey Kong, so he might be trying to create a race where Donkey Kong has a chance, so he's going to race fast here still. Donkey Kong, near side, needs to beat out Shy Guy to go up ahead in points. Circuit Special, he's already locked into a win. Donkey Kong on the far side, rolling through the trapdoor section. He's clear. Circuit Special, Yoshi Egg is doing well. Oh, he nudges in the Donkey Kong, picks up three points between the Circuit Special and him, and Shy Guy won't advance as Donkey Kong has 10. Uh, Yoshi Egg will grab three there, and Circuit Special will get 12. What an astounding finish. And Yoshi Egg, unfortunately, to the chagrin of a lot of fans, will just uh, oh, pack up and wobble home to advance. Second group.
We got Heat 1 going here. Pipe Mario, Yoshi, and Peach. Peach on the near side against Pipe. Pipe has been problematic, but again, Pipe has trouble keeping himself straight out there on the track sometimes. Red Yoshi and Mario in the Wild Wing slowing down here. They're going to have to pick up the speed if they're going to challenge these two. Pipe, super fast. Looks like he's going to drop Peach right into the goo. Yes, Peach is good. Pipe is free. Both of the cars are rolling. They're battling, and Red Yoshi will come across for the three points. I think Peach and the B-Dasher is going to uh, have different results when going up against non-Pipe vehicles. But she is uh, initially good, which can sometimes break spirits and get you down, but no need. Oh, man, Peach almost dug her way out of the trap door. You see her get up almost towards the end of it and race uphill. I mean, great momentum coming into that section. Pipe 5, Yoshi 3, Mario in the Wild Wing 2, Peach with 0. Let's get to Heat 2. Looking at Pipe. Pipe in lane three against Red Yoshi here. He will come to the near side after this turn. Pipe already establishing a lead to Peach with a much better one. Mario in the Wild Wing holding pace with Pipe is going to start to lose that lead as Pipe accelerates through the second uh, sector here. Turn two, still fast. Pipe straight through the middle. He'll drop Yoshi in the goo. Peach will break free as well, and Pipe will grab a, uh, 10 points. I almost said a 10th point, but... Uh, well, I mean, that would only make sense if he got one. He got the 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, and 10th point in uh, the single run, which, I mean, sounds exciting, but it's really just how the scoring works, so... Uh, it's not. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. He's pipe. Uh, I'm excited for him. <laughs> Here we go. Two fives for pipe. Yoshi and Peach still holding on. Mario in the Wild Wing, still uh, a chance for him. Again, it's going to be about his ability to pick up the speed here. Pipe on the far side, out to an early lead. Against Peach, it might be a little tougher. It's going to depend on how he turns through here. Peach had it for a second, then back to Pipe. Pipe bounces through these turns, loses some speed. Now he's up a length or two again. A turn once again, he'll be on the inside line. Big lead for Pipe. He'll run through the trapdoor section once again, not get stuck, spin down, and he will grab first and have three fives. Peach will grab three points again. Wild Wing Mario none. No, he did get two in that first race, but none here. But Peach with six. Wild Wing and Yoshi with two and three. Still a chance for them to overtake Peach if Peach kind of chokes this one here. And Peach will go up against one of them. And so, I mean, I just feel for the person who has to go up against Pipe here. I mean, who would have thought that... Uh, Basically, green metal would outdo some of the most iconic characters in the history of the world. I mean, there are not many people who don't know the name Mario, and uh, Pipe is the one with uh, three fives. Heat four. Pipe working on the first half of an individual sweep. Can he take this one here? On the near side, Pipe against Red Yoshi. Big lead already. Wild Wing could beat out Peach, could win and advance if Peach loses to the Wild Wing. Pipe on the far side, holding a lead, looking for another five. Big around and Peach has the lead, far side. Peach, can she hold her nerve? She will, Pipe speeding down towards the finish line. Peach turns around, Pipe is knocked onto the rail. It will only grab three, individual sweep gone. Red Yoshi crossing, but Peach crossed first. They are your two to advance. That's how it will end here in this group. Advancing Pipe with 18, advancing Peach with 11. Fast cars coming in the finals. How wonderful a tiebreaker kind of suspense moment might be. But, I mean, again, no, you can't predict those. Donkey Kong near side, Pipe there in the middle. While on uh, the circuit special, Mario and B Dasher Peach. Those are your four. These are the four best racers in the Rainbow Tournament who have emerged victorious. Peach, near side here, against Pipe down a length. Circuit special, Mario fast, but he almost gets caught up. He'll start to slowly turn down the hill as Pipe grabs five. Where will Mario come in second? Three points, and two cars will not uh, achieve any points. Now, I will say this. 
At this point, these are your four best racers. I would be expecting a little bit of improvement as far as tripping the trap doors. I mean, I really would. I mean, this has been so much time they've had to work on it. These are the best four um, when pitted against uh, most of the rest of the Mushroom Kingdom. I mean, you'd expect cleaner trapdoor hitting. I will say it lo it's looked more consistent today, so we can say that. I don't know what the numbers are. But again, I'm just going on eyeing it, and it looks more consistent. Heat 2. Let's run it again. Pipe up by 5 already. Circuit Special, not far behind. And honestly, he was the faster vehicle last race. He just got stuck leaving the trapdoor sector, which is always the thorn in the side of every racer. Some more than others, though. Pipe. Near side here. Down a few lengths. Up on the Circuit Special, though, to whom he will basically 1v1 as the track split here. Donkey Kong and Peach. Peach is lagging way far behind. She's now in last place. Donkey Kong runs across the trapdoor section. Drops Peach in the goo. Pipe! Jumps out and knocks the circuit special. He's on his side. Circuit special comes down backwards. Where is Pipe? Pipe does not finish. He's on his side. He is at rest and he is unable. And and again, that would have only been two points, but I uh, we'll see what it looks like in the end is all I'm saying. If two points would have made the difference even to a tiebreaker, Pipe will be kicking himself all day. Look at him. He jumped out through the trapdoor section because it fell right as he was about to leave and it flipped him over and he was able to slide down the hill, just not be able to flip himself over and regain footing. He almost did there. It just didn't happen. 5-6-5-0. In the blocks. They are released. Pipe near side. Peach with him. Donkey Kong holding ground as well. Circuit Special to lag behind here. Peach looks like the acceleration is turned on here, but Donkey Kong, look at how he breaks away. He'll get an inside line here. He'll have a big lead. Maybe some points on the board for him. Again, he'll come through the trapdoor section, so will Pipe, speeding Circuit Special, and they finish in that order. And Peach will also finish. So Peach will grab one. Donkey Kong with five. Pipe with two, that's enough to keep him in the game for winning. And Circuit Special with three. So this is going to be an interesting set of numbers. Donkey Kong's going to have ten points. Circuit Special with nine. Pipe with seven. It's anybody's game. And I believe if they finish five, three, two... Pipe, Mario, Donkey Kong, we have a three-way tie. Let's see what happens right here. Peach holding on, trying to at least put a couple points on the board for posterity. But again, pretty impressive getting to the end. Donkey Kong, near side here, trying to build a lead. Pipe holding on, but has a bigger turn to work with. Circuit Special lagging behind. Will he get dropped in the goo? I don't know. Trapdoor coming. Donkey Kong breaks away for the win. Pipe, and he gets stuck in Donkey Kong. Will cross with five points and easy win. And that will do it. Donkey Kong from video six came out in a fury and closed the door today. Pipe too wild in the exit, and even those extra two points on his DNF would not have helped. Though again, he could have had even more there if he didn't get flipped coming out. He will have 9-9, nine, nine, and of course Donkey Kong with 15. Great finish for Donkey Kong, winning this massive tournament. He'll be going to the championship. Update on the tournament once more. The mail-in tournament now. 91 cars have arrived at the Races and Fun Stadium. 33 should be arriving this coming week, and we still have four spots open. Count them. One, two, three, and four spots open. Hello, everybody. I'm Brendan. Here are our channel versus channel vehicles. Four from Diecast Racing TV, and of course, four from the Races and Fun Channel. And they'll get going here. Mario, Baby Boo, Donkey Kong, and bob Om are first four. But I can't stress enough that there are only four spots left in the mail-in tournament. We encourage you to submit a car if you have not already. And would love to see yourself uh, compete vicariously through a uh, stock car in this diecast tournament. Let's keep our focus now on the current tournament. Mario and Donkey Kong being the two vehicles from the races and fun channel in this first heat of four. Uh, first group of four. And, uh, of course, then... Wow, Mario really slipped out there. Hit the brick on the way down. And then Boo and bob -omb, who both finished there 5-3, and three, being the two from the Diecast Racing TV channel. So we're into heat two here, and things are looking pretty good for... Um, Baby Boo 
who starts out with a strong five. Donkey Kong on the far side there, getting an early lead. Big turn for him. Accelerating still up on Boo by a length. The wheel length now two down a full length. Now we have an inside line coming from Donkey Kong. He's now going to grab two and three lengths on Boo, who starts to accelerate. He's then dropped. No! Donkey Kong dropped into the goo. Donkey Kong did not trip the trap door, and Boo had no shot, and he couldn't climb himself out of that. Mario in the Circle Special will finish behind Boo. Boo with another five points. Mario finally on the board. Still anyone's game here. bob -omb will not pick up any points, which will allow for second place to still be very open to any vehicle. Donkey Kong, who won the races and fun finals, would love nothing more than to keep things going strong. But he has to wake up here in the next coming races. Donkey Kong. Zeros on the board. Baby Boo, nothing but fives. I mean, it's, it's a, as big a difference as it gets. Donkey Kong on the near side against bob -omb. Mario against Boo on the far side. And we'll start to see who is speedy out of the gate again. It's Donkey Kong who's been speedy out of the gate all day. Way in front of bob -omb. Boo even having trouble catching up. Starts to accelerate, though. And now he'll have a lead, but he'll not be on the track against Donkey Kong, who's even with bob -omb. Now losing a lead, and he's dropped in the, the goo again. bob -omb won't be. Donkey Kong. Again, anti-dextrous as far as tripping that trap door. bob -omb will stop on the track and, well, leave the door open once again. Though I believe, I, I think, I don't know. Did Mario win that one? No, I think Baby uh, Boo did again. So Mario is only going to have three points, but still leaves the door open. Because he only has six. So bob -omb still has a chance here. Donkey Kong may be out of it. He is. Donkey Kong with three goose eggs. He's out of the game. bob -omb still in it against Mario. Baby Boo, uh, for sure, advancement. And if he wins this one, putting the individual sweep pressure on the later racers. Donkey Kong looking to take this one if he can, just to keep Boo from that individual sweep, which he'd like to have the only uh, name for which he did in video six, I believe. Donkey Kong, big lead right now. Down the near side, trips the trap door, finally gets away from it and spins out Mario in the circuit special. And that's gonna seal this one for Mario. He will move on. Revolves Donkey Kong back to front and runs right past him on the near side. We might get a look at uh, the replay here. Wow, that cheap, cheap is very, far into the goo. I got knocked in maybe a little more with uh, my boo there. I mean, yeah, Donkey Kong was trying to go for a roadblock maybe or just lost control and Mario just shoved him out of the way. Two advance. And they're both in circuit special. Second group. Who do we get to see here? Pipe. Ooh. Koopa Troopa, Peach, and Wario. If I remember correct, Pipe and Peach were from Races and Fun. Koopa and Wario from Diecast Racing TV. Wario again in that Sports Coupe. Sports Coupe car showing up now three times in this final circuit special as well. Well, even four times, I think bob -omb, no. bob -omb had a B-dash. Peach, far side, moving up on Wario, and is not dropped into the goo, but stalled up there. Koopa Troopa had trouble escaping, and Wario will start with five. And then Pipe. I don't see Pipe. I think he's good. Yeah, there he is. Far down into that goo. Peach just tripped on her own wheels, but didn't have any problem with the trap door. I, I think the consistency of trap doors in this uh, final round has not been any better, even with racers that are considerably more uh, skilled in this type of track. I don't understand. Wario near side with Pipe. Starting out strong was Wario, but now he has to go up against Pipe, who is a very difficult competitor to go up against. And they're very similar in weight and, of course, the same car model. So this should be a good one. They're about neck and neck right now. Pipe, a little bit of lead as he had the inside line. Wario starts to accelerate once again. Pipe drops Wario in. Peach getting away. So does Koopa, who's passed up by Pipe, and Peach will get five. And that's how to do it. Clean break for Peach, and she's turned things around. And from zero to five. And we'll see Wario there in the goo. Koopa Troopa. 
And he's also uh, making a good run for it as well. Consistency, at least. He's been down to the finish both times, but no first place quite yet. Peach on the near side against Wario this time. Wario wants the early lead, but Pipe holds neck and neck with Koopa Troopa as well. Peach breaks away into the second sector. Wario accelerates. Now he's up to one lane. He might be up to two as the turn comes. No, he stays at one. Koopa Troopa now races back with a big length lead on Pipe. He will not drop Pipe in, and he'll fall off the track as he hits the leg as it turns narrower. He'll fall right off with a flip and lose any direction for points. I think he just hit the side there and had so much momentum that he bounced backwards and completely ran through the rail. Unbelievable. I, I didn't think that was possible. I mean, the angle on that did not look like you... I don't even know how Peach got stuck there either. Look what happened there. She just spun out and right before the, the hole. I mean, what happened? That was incredible. Just completely ran right through the side and rubber banded back across the track sideways and off and that's gonna leave things looking pretty good for pipe and wario the shorter cars front to back seems to be easier to control in this one pipe and wario trying to hold on here koopa troopa still a chance if koopa troopa can get out to a strong lead and even peach either of them could still take a spot Koopa Troopa Peach holding leads right now. They have big turns to make, and Wario catches up. Pipe lagging behind. Here they go through the transition. Neither of them fall. Peach is behind, and Wario and Pipe will take it to the finals. Peach will be slow, and it won't be enough. Unfortunately, Koopa Troopa lost his speed and got uh, thrown down once again, and he'll finish in the goo, and this will be the last time he'll ever race on this course. We come to the end here of this one, advancing, of course, Pipe and Wario. And they have to say, I really enjoyed this one. There's a lot of chaos in the trapdoor section. The Just the amount of straights and the bumps and the turns, the beginning really allowed for tension to build and cars to separate and speed to be seen and really allowed for um, well, cars to have to think about coming forward towards how they're going to approach that trapdoor section. And then a nice, wonderful downhill and battle at the end in the fat track truly's been a wonderful race baby boo and mario will run through here and both no not both trip the trap door baby boo up by a length they both pinball through and baby boo will have it by a couple um, oh and even uh, wario will get through there but it's truly been a good one it's truly been a good one and i think you guys all enjoyed this one with us the mario uh mushroom kingdom tournaments always get a bunch of attention and this one especially has just been massively interesting. Wonderful comments I've seen just trying to understand all the different aspects and complexities of the movements down a singular race. Oh, even Mario got down there. Well, that might have been interesting to play there. Heat 2. And Baby Boom the near side with Pike. Mario. Wario, but I'm just going to say I'm so thankful that we've been able to enjoy this one. It's come down to quite a finish. Absolute wonderful finale. Pipe and Baby Boo holding leads right now. Pipe starting to break away. Baby Boo might see some goo right here, and he will. Pipe breaks through, and Wario as well. Any Mario? Yeah, Mario will finish really fast, but again, only with two points. Well, no. She had three the, well, he had three the first time. But uh, Baby Boo is going to go five to zero. Maryland tournament comes next and really shaping up to be quite a uh, fun 2023 of uh, car racing. I have to say I'm thrilled for it. Heat 3. The near side. Wario. Baby Boo. Look at the scores. Wario with five, Baby Blue with five, Mario with five, Pipe with five. We are tied up. How the final should be. Pipe starts to fall back. Mario starts to accelerate forward. We're coming back to even here as we turn. Baby Boo breaks away. Wario might get dropped in the goo. He will. Mario jumps through the trap door and gets stuck. Wheels up on the edge of it. And Mario will 
barely avoid escaping. Well, yeah, avoid escaping. He did not escape. He'll just get stuck right there after the trapdoor. The trapdoor started to fall right as he was leaving. He got flipped upwards just a little bit. Look at that. Flip upwards and just couldn't get out of there. The wheels stood there, stuck there for a minute. And finally, he came all the way down forward when we saw him. Heat four. This is it. Best racer across all the channels. I know Donkey Kong won the races in fun one, but this one is even more difficult to face. Pipe on the far side. He's with 10. He has the, the best advantage here. Baby Boo running as well against Pipe, who has the, well, the best chance to beat him. Tiebreakers could be in order if Mario and Wario tend to make it down there as well. Pipe, far side against Baby Boo. Trap doors and neither of them fall in. Pipe breaks away. Big lead and he spins and he's straight to the end and Baby Boo can't overtake him two lengths down baby boo falls just short pipe with 15 points in the finals baby boo with just 10 mario and wario come up even more short and even with their excellent racing they just could not face pipe a literal pipe when it came to the finals congratulations to pipe Congratulations to Donkey Kong here on the Races and Fun channel. Absolutely wonderful work from both of them. Honorable wins uh, in both cases. And, uh, well, this will wrap things up for this tournament. What a wonderful one it was. And we're looking forward to a very exciting 2023 of races. Again, do not forget to mail in if you have not mailed in already. Subscribe to the channel. Check out the Diecast Racing TV channel. All of that. Join the Discord and all of it. And we'll see you next time for the next tournament on races and fun.